I'm tired of doing the same old thing, expecting different results. That's almost like some shit I say, though, J-Mac, for real. You know what? We got to take this motherfucker to the next level. Jamie mac you did tell me that we've been fucking for free for too long. We have been. We've been giving up that free poo nanny, and we ain't getting nothing for it. Okay, It's, it's getting wild. Yeah, it's getting wild. It's that, that free throat, with that free mouthpiece that we was giving away. You got to do something about that. So we can't do it for free anymore. What I need you guys to do is go out to the iOS app store or the Android app store and download the No Nonsense Show app. We have our own app that has all the episodes back to episode number one. Another Another thing I need to do is go ahead and sign up for that premium content. The Tuesday show is still what, Jay Smooth? Free. The Tuesday live show is still what, Jimmy Mac? Free like Kunta Kinte. But the Friday show is going to be our premium content along with our other bonus content that you'll get throughout the week. So make sure you go to the website, nonsenseshow.com. It'll give you info on signing up for our premium package. I'm telling you, that Android app? Is the shit I don't know You know I ain't seen that iOS bullshit The iOS, but, the iOS app is nice But if you guys Gotta get it man And they it's free It's an app ting now Use promo code VIP30 For the first month free No nonsense The views and opinions Expressed by the No Nonsense Show And its hosts Do not necessarily reflect Views consistent With political correctness Or the Rare Sonics Podcast Network So to get the show Started right We want to wish Any officers of the Sensitivity Police A heartfelt Thank you I've been Just a veteran since I was four, it's had a positive and a negative impact on my life. If he's not the world's worst stutterer, then 27-year-old Eric May comes close. Every new syllable could set off a stuttering spasm. <laughs> Negative part. In my experience, he's one of the most severe stutterers. <laughs> oh shit! How does that dude work, man? How does that dude, how does that dude oh. get a job, <laughs> man? How does he get a girl? No, like no, that? No, shit. no, 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 no. We you can't, can't even. You, you, you trying to holler, nigga? How can we hang? What's your name? It's free. It's 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 like fair game to laugh, though, right? Like if we're homeboys, I think you gotta give me some passes. Right. Like when you go into that shit and I'm high I'm right. not gonna be able to hold that shit there's <laughs> no you're way not high I will smoke I can hold that <laughs> you really you, you I feel like a sober person is supposed to just kind of look at him and wait no 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 I couldn't he, cause when he, when he gets caught into that that first syllable like so many <laughs> times so many times like fast I can't, I can't, I can't even do, do this shit right like there's, I can't even do this fast he was doing it I was thinking maybe it was he was just making that shit he up he could probably eat some pussy though <laughs> listening to the no nonsense show 10% less bullshit than any other podcast guaranteed <laughs> That they could just stutter on that pussy, on that clit, motherfucker. You can just start talking. He'll you, take your girl. You supposed to be, you supposed to be writing letters. This <laughs> nigga is just trying to say letters, <laughs> tearing the pussy up. I would never speak. I would just write everything. Text message for me. No sign language, man. Yeah, I would learn sign language. Yeah. That's what I, I just act like I was deaf mute. Right. And and we just gonna do, but I'm not. I'm not fucking doing that. I'm not I don't got the patience Like I would punch a motherfucker Just like a GP Like like You don't want to hit a nigga in the back <laughs> Like I, no I'm gonna If I had a stuttering problem I'm gonna outlast I'm gonna lash out on you <laughs> Like when I get stuck Like duh, 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 pow, yow. Right Like that's gonna be my coping mechanism Like to trigger me to Say the next word And they'd be like No don't watch out That nigga finna swing and Nigga stutter that long And the word he trying to get out Is the Right Like some simple shit <laughs> And said, you know that shit What's that movie Harlem, Rage in Harlem Or Harlem Nights What yeah. was it Harlem Which Nights one? It was the one who had the boxer who stuttered. That was the um, Rage of Harlem Nights. Harlem Nights. Yeah. Harlem Nights. I always thought that was funny. I've never, I've never met anybody who stuttered like that. But this dude stutters worse. Oh, that's way worse. He, yeah, he couldn't even like he said <laughs> every syllable, like, <laughs> and he couldn't even get past go. And I know, I know people today that stutter, but they only stutter when they're nervous. And motherfuckers, I'd be like, damn, I'm like, that's fucked up. That's common though. But this What's is common? people stuttering when they're nervous. So you stutter. No. Yeah, if I'm nervous or shy, I can I can see me stutter. I hope you do that shit on the show one time, nigga, so we can be happy. J. Smooth, you stutter a little bit. Uh, sometimes you do. Sometimes, sometimes you do. Yeah, you do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Some, sometimes you do. You get like you get Ralph Cramden on us a little bit. But uh, what's so funny about that kid is it wasn't a kid. 
That 27 year old This nigga older man. than you Right <laughs> <laughs> This nigga tried to son this nigga Just cause he right. Just cause he can't speak right You cannot just son his ass At like this that. point when this video was made He was 5 years older than you are right now <laughs> Right Check this out um, <laughs> It's how he goes back To the normal world <laughs> Like it's Right not. Like no Like we didn't just hear you do that shit 57, 11 times He does it And then he goes Negative <laughs> No No but dude <laughs> Do you know how long it's gonna that. take to have a conversation You know how No for real I have to be just Okay You have to be okay With Body me language. just being weak no. <laughs> Just being weak Like while you go through You have to be able To block me out Because I'm gonna be on the floor Like crying Right But I'm still listening Right I, I'm still listening But I'm just gonna be weak I, And I guess that kind of Leads me into What I wanted to talk about Which is kind of Dealing with people That are a little bit different Right Okay right. I had an instance This weekend I went to go get some food And this lady who worked the register had me doing a Google search for some shit that she had on her hand because she gave me a pound, right? She like, oh, you know, I, I go in this place a lot. I don't want to say the name uh-huh. because I'm, I still go in there, right? And I don't know who listens, don't listen, right? Right. And I like my food taken care of the right way, so I'm not finna say shit, right? This is right. food. This is a food preparer. No, she was the cash register to be all, you know. She didn't. Oh, she's she about knew, to figure she, out her she, stuff right now. She just, she just handled the money. Okay. Right? But when I walk in. She say what up And she give me the pound Is she Chinese? Nope and Black? She, and yeah And, and she, she says what up? Yeah she's That's what? her customer service? Yeah this is, I'm not it's eating a, there It's a black it's, No it's a, it's a black that, that's, like that, that's like that hot dog place In Chicago where they cuss you out And she Motherfucker you said You wanted cheese on the bitch That's what you getting on this motherfucker No she This is different oh, okay. I, I've been in there before She know me So she okay. says what up? What up? I don't ever remember I, this is not like we normally give each other pound right. or dap or whatever. But this one time. But this one time. Huh? Like her hand was like covered in like uh scales? A, a little bit, right? But it was darker. Like it was like she she black already. I'm like not like black black. But it was like a blacked up raised shit and she had it on both hands. Excellent. And then maybe and that's when I was thinking. It was you know what I mean? it was black and black. It was like yeah. her black skin was those those parts were darker than she her had skin. Ver, she had yeah. vertilago. No, no, no vertiligo no. is the opposite. Right, it wasn't light. It was the parts that was rash. It is not vertiligo, but we, <laughs> right, I right, do right. what you meant. So. so she had the she got the lizard disease. But but <laughs> I I listen. I didn't. It, it, it could I have been kinda, leprosy. No, I'm talking shit. Listen, I I went to the bathroom for real, like because I didn't you wash want, your hands. Okay, put this. My question is. How nice are you? Because I'm too nice not to give a mother. Because I saw the shit. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. I saw it. Like, right. and I was like, oh. She put her hand up high when she was giving you the day. Right. And I was like, hey. Like, you don't see this shit on your hand? And. I feel like somebody like that would have no, like. What? They they would not just give out poundings if that's they were like saying That's like saying a motherfucker with an STD and not going to fuck you. She got, she should she should have had a, I mean, she should have had her gloves no. on. You should have gave her the elbow like I'm holding my. I'm, hey, look. But she, had it, she had it on the elbow too. Like, oh, like, she just sick. That's eczema. That, yeah, I think eczema. I, 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 listen, well, she got the right Vaseline. You can but take I'm still care of washing it. my hand. No, eczema is, a, eczema is a motherfucker. Don't 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 be get it twisted. Yeah, because it's like yeah. You I get, guess there's there's different stages, right? Because I, I had a, I knew a couple of friends that had it, but doctors visits and some dermatologists visits. Yeah, yeah, yeah but so what, you talking about like a light patch or something? Well, yeah, I guess it was not that strong of a. It could be real. It could be real bad where the skin is really rough and it's fucked up. Yeah, I see, it was rough. You got, it looks like it hurts. Almost like they reptilish. Oh, yeah, yeah, You know what I'm saying? Like they're going to sure, transform sure. like v, That was it. Like the V. Like and she they have either, flare-ups. They have flare-ups just like yeah. herpes. Wow. And, and, and you it's, wash your it's, hands, it's, right? It's, oh, it's not contagious. Yeah. It's not yeah. contagious. Yeah, but I did anyway, though. Yeah, it's just, always good to wash your hands. It's never hurt. Because I was thinking, I kind of thought along the lines as you were talking about, French Reggie, like, you know, motherfucker not going to offer up that. Yeah, if you're carrying, like, like yeah, like, like, leprosy. Like, you know? like, who does that, right? I mean, it's got to be good, right? I mean, it's right? Just ugly. Yeah. Yeah. And so I did, I, I felt like I wanted to, like, inside of me, like, if I had. Not like just been too nice. I'm like fuck that. I'm not shaking that. You, I mean, I mean, I, I still like you. We cool. You know what I mean? Whatever the case may be, I don't have anything against you. Right. But I, I'm not. I'm not touching that. Why you, can't you do that? I think that's rude, right? I mean, I felt like if I did that, that that's fucked. You think up. that you think that's more rude than somebody giving you a fucked up hand? That's 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 dis. I mean, I guess that's my point. I'm too nice. So you see that hand? You you just go no, thank you. So no. you gonna, so you rather pound that one or pound somebody with a hand with no thumb on well, it? How about this? Then help me, <laughs> help me. Then just help me out. Give me a, an example of how you do that. Like how, when someone offers you a hand, whether it's to shake, pound, and it's got some shit on it that you're not familiar with. 
Hey, how I've, do you, how I've do done you, people that I'm, you know, that would want to. They reached to shake my hand, and I still had that fist right there. Like I get that, down but, that, the, like, but see, I, that's what I that did. That knuckle, it's a knuckle. Like you, if you pound yeah, with it, the knuckle, and you tap knuckle. But if it's something on the knuckle too, right? I mean, it's just skin. I mean, it's the mm. this is this is the this right here. I would rather touch them out on that back part of my hand. It's like. You know, in the military, when they say you touch a hot door, if you're going to touch the hot door, you know, you touch with the back of your hand versus your open hand. You know what I'm saying? Because this part, at least you still can close your hand and do Grip some something. shit with it. You know, but you hit it with the that's back. Firefighter, that's, little, that's firefighter training 101, that's, seriously. That's, that you touch with the back, so it's a little bit better. I watch backdraft. And it's a little bit better, so I would have pounded. It's not a little bit better. It still burns like a bitch, yeah. but at least you can still grab stuff. Yeah, right. I mean, if she burn you, you'd rather the back of your shit burn. Then the palm of your hand, you can't even beat off it. The fuck, she, you you touch the open shit, nah, it's fucked up. And think about this, right? Okay. Think about this. What if you had met her in the wintertime? You met it's a chick. You meet a chick like this in the wintertime. Right. She got gloves on and shit like that. Every time you saw her, she always had her gloves on. Kind of cold. Y'all do shit. Walking outside, ice skate, shit, glove. Then nigga, she take get you back in the car. She take them gloves off. Give you head. I'll pull your it. dick out. <laughs> pull your dick out, nigga. She got her hand inside her hand soft, and you fuck around and look down, and the outside of her shit look like a lizard. Ooh. Nigga, you going soft? I'm gonna you going oh, go soft? I'm gonna you jump. gonna go soft? <laughs> nah, soft my ass. I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? See that? I think that now <clears throat> you went too far. No, right. I think now yeah. I have full. Uh, if you don't say something, then you're I, that's I, some shit. They should have full disclosure. I, I need. Excuse me, I got something to tell you. Like, whoa, what the fuck? No, yeah, you you can't just touch my dick with like that and not well, have like an explanation. But see, what first. I'm trying to figure out is why are you not that assertive? Period. Like. That's because I, I guess my hand is He's not my nice dick. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Yeah, and I just didn't want to hurt. Yeah, again, is she old you lady, already, young lady? No, she was a young girl. You know oh, what I yeah. mean? Because she get she, it? No, 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 no. Because of her hands? No, or no, no. Because you're married. Just period. Oh. <laughs> just period. It, but the whole point is that, you know, you already got something going bad with you, right? You already get, you, you're having a tough part, I think. You know, because if my shit was looking like that, right. I think I would be feeling kind of like down. Insecure and like, yeah. not she never want to touch she nobody. Might, she right. might forgot to take a vitamin D that morning or some shit but like that. But then when someone would make it. But maybe she just assumes that your dumb ass knows what eczema is and you're not going to be offended by the fact that she has it. And it's something she struggles with, obviously, because it's really bad. Again, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what it was. But hey, y'all call me a dick. No, no, no check what it out. Check dick. it out, though. My my phone, help me out. My phone, <laughs> I got that Bixby, right? All I got to do is take a picture of some shit. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> she didn't know you took a picture nah, of it? Nah, nah, nah. But I just zoomed in and like, it got me a nice little picture. Told me that that shit was eczema. Oh, so I was right. Yeah, or it could have been psoriasis. I don't so, know. Same, so you, same so difference. You, okay. you photo, you photo, you um, search the image online. Yeah, yeah psoriasis is like real bad dandruff on your body. Yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty bad, man. But I was like, and it's not neither one of those are contagious though. And, and I was, I was happy after I saw that because none of that stuff. And then it, you know, I ain't gonna lie, it did. That some shit came up like a HIV rash. I didn't even know that was such a thing. I didn't either. I never heard of that. Yeah, but they, but no, there's no such thing as HIV. Lesions. Le- that's it. lesions or something like that. I don't know, man. There's no hey. such thing as an HIV. Ask, ask, ask the smoothies. Blood the, blood ask blood ask the smoothies. The, the smoothies would know. Smoothies. Well, twin knows. I, I'm just saying, there's a lot of doctors in the smoothie camp. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we do. Man. There's, an, there's, insane, the there's an insane amount of doctors in, within the sw- the smoothie race or whatever right. it, would that be a race? What are y'all? I think it's a camp, <laughs> like a, like a like it's like a, a cancer. <laughs> it's like a what is it? It's like, like a, a disease, a like sickness, a Holocaust camp. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. How y'all talk about me like that? Okay, you know I mean? <laughs> Here, here's my thing. We as a people have got to start being assertive. That and it, it's not it's not just about shaking hands. It's about, for instance, uh, let's say. J Mac, you say, "Hey man, do if you something wanna- bothers me, I should say I should be okay saying I'm not comfortable with that." Yeah, yeah, but in a world where everybody cries sensitivity, nope, and offended- nope, no, nope. J uh, French Reggie, if you say, "Hey, hey B, come over to my house, uh, we're gonna watch the game," I'm like, "No, nah, I don't really feel like it." You should be able to say that and not feel like entitled. Like I gotta go. I, I, get, yeah. I get that, but that, that's see that, fine. And I, you shouldn't be offended if yeah, I don't want to. Especially if you have a good rapport with that person already. I, yeah, I, I get yeah, that. Yeah, even if you have, no, no. Mm-hmm. See, even worse, I owe you more if I have a good rapport with you. If I don't know you that well. Fuck your house I don't, don't want to uh, yeah. come to it I, I don't I don't know her well enough To say I have a good rapport with her But I'm just saying I've I eat there a lot so. how, how much suffering Did it give you Honestly On a scale of 1 to 10 You were probably It seemed like you were pretty fucked up I, I was like 
Until you knew. No, no, right. Until I knew. You were about a nine or ten, I would assume. Yeah. I, why, put you, you, why put yourself through that? Fuck because, that. It happens so quick. Yeah, but you, know you, you got to, but you can't. Fuck that's what he's saying. You got to be, change. you got to be more assertive. And, and normally, J Mac, she's in the back, right? And no, she's, somebody always, call, she's always at the register. Somebody call out sick and they put on a register. Nah, she's always she, at the register. She normally make your burger. Not, inside of your throat should have started itching because she probably made your See, that's, that's the problem. As a manager, what do you do? You want her in the front where people can see her, or do you want her in the back where she's touching the meat? No, she can't be around the food. She can't because if that's just a like, little bit, you got to start getting her used to touching the meat. You don't but want she, that. You don't. She got to touch people's hands though for the the cash. But she nah, ain't they, touching people's stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're telling me that eczema is bad for the stomach? No, I, I wouldn't want to eat it. Here's my problem. Here's my problem with, with what you how you handled it. Right? It was a nine or ten agony anguish. Pain feeling, right? Yeah. yeah. Up until you figure out. Like, I didn't even go. I, I, she gave me my cup. I didn't go fill it up. I took my cup to the bathroom and washed Wash my your hands. And then you yeah. Googled that shit. Or did you Google yeah. it later? No, no. I Googled it on the way out because I had to get the hands washed first. That right. was like like number one. Right. So here's my thing, right? Imagine if it weren't something that was so simple. You know, and, you want to uh, hear some weird, weird shit? Sure. My hands started itching. Like, of course. Like, 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 like you had real. disease popping up on your like, brain tell you. You I thought just, it might have looked like that when you got to the bathroom already. <laughs> Right, N- hey nigga, did you know we had X Men living amongst us? <laughs> X Men, she, she probably X Men. Okay, um, because it's like eczema, X Men. <laughs> yeah, the twin, twin, where you at? Twin, we blaming oh, you, man. No. Twin, we blaming find, you. I'm gonna drive to the West Coast and find her. She's on in Texas. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't have to go that far then. So look, here's my thing, right? Imagine if it weren't that easy. So you are in an anguish level nine, ten. All the way to the bathroom, which is 20 steps. Yeah. But imagine if you couldn't solve it that quick and you had to go 10 miles or you were in your car, you were driving the whole way home, you're touching your car, you're scared to touch the, the gears, yeah. your phone rings, you don't want to answer the phone, it's your wife, you know? Yeah. Like you have to go through that for a lot longer. You could have just prevented all of that shit by saying, no, thank you. And what, she would have been offended, maybe, but so what? Okay, run it back to me show, because that sounds good. I hear she you. She puts say- her hand up, what up? Or what's up? And you just look at her, what up? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Just, yeah. you, you don't, you're not obligated to touch her. Okay. You don't okay. Have, always have to accept so the phone number, Jay. So man. I can still say the verbal without yeah, the you, physical. You're not a mean person. You still want to greet her, but no, no, we don't I, gotta con- we don't have to have contact with each other to do that. You're you're putting me in a position that I don't want to be in, and I'm I refuse to be in that position. It's not really leaving hanging if I still say what's up. No, you're definitely leaving her hanging. Okay. But fine. it's not your fault. She shouldn't have she shouldn't have assumed y'all she, was that good. She shouldn't have put it out you, there. Had you, guys, to had you guys had the eczema talk yet? Nope. Nope. Had you had the psoriasis talk nope. yet? Nope. Don't be assuming. But that, but she's living in that body. She she's not I don't give a fuck thinking that, like I don't every give a person fuck. she she meets. You don't, oh, let me explain. I have this condition. You know what I'm saying? She should though. Right? Jimmy Mac, what do you owe her? <laughs> what what does she owe? I think him? it was like eleven ninety nine. No, no, what do you I owe her? Rice. Because move away from the food. What do you owe her? Nothing. Nothing. Fuck that hand. Fuck what's up? What's what's going on with you? Ah, what's going on? Can't you use that same logic on, on her? She could be like, "Why does I have to?" Okay, it looks weird. Okay, it is different because your question was, "How far can you go with somebody?" Well, you how? Know? I mean, no, how he, nice are you? Right? He said, would you would you touch the hand? Yeah, but you gotta understand too. Like with using your same logic, she could huh? be like, "What do I owe J Mac to explain to him why I have?" Ex- no, nothing. Negro. Yes, no, 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 she, she, no. She, no she, it's nothing too. She doesn't owe me anything until she puts her hand up to give me five. Now right. she owes me something, right? Because she's, she's giving you five. Because I'm ignorant. I'm an ignorant bastard. I don't know what eczema is, right, Jimmy Mac? Yep. <laughs> exactly. So, and, and you're because. offering you're offering something <laughs> mm-hmm. that to me, and what you're offering is is, un, is un, no no is just unfamiliar to me. So you need to fill me in because my mind is fucking racing. I, I my imagination is like you just fucked me up, and that maybe you didn't know you fucked me up. Maybe you don't. You know you've had it. You don't. You you living with it. It's like herpes. Yeah. Motherfuckers that got herpes, they still fuck other people. No, I, they, they got herpes. I was working with this guy one time when, um, back when I was working for Lucent Technologies, and um, we were had to be in close quarters sometimes doing installs of. I mean, you, you're not gonna know what this is, but fiber optic systems or whatever. But it's the the bays are really close I, together. I think I've heard of those. Yeah, but I mean, like that's too much information. I felt like I was doing a J school detail. Like, okay. Yeah, but the reason why I want to tell you because the bays are kind of close together, so you have to like squeeze by people sometimes. Go so down in there. You got to go down there. Sometimes they had to take their clothes off. You probably about to say <laughs> no. <laughs> go ahead. Anyway, this is one old dude is down there. He worked for somebody else, AT T or something. But he had rheumatoid arthritis. You know what that is? Yeah. That's where it looks like elephant man and shit. Like their bones bend up and. Like their hands are just dis- like they got big ass knuckles and shit. Like it just looks oh, like shit. a weird hand. It made me think of that shit when Jay Smooth was talking about the girl with the gloves because there's an actor, the dude who was in that movie with Cuba Gooden Jr. with the dogs. 
Snow old, Dogs? Yeah, Snow Dogs, the old <laughs> white dude that was his dad. His hands is like that in real life. Like right. he, everything you see him in, his hands are not in the picture because right. it, they're, they're not right. And when they are, they take him out, that's this, just This guy out. offered me his hand, and I promise that was the last time I was there. I didn't even, I didn't know what it was yet. You I took had, it? I, yeah, but I had to ask somebody because I had no idea. The whole way, and I was in Alpharetta. It you know how far funny, Alpharetta huh? is to where I live. So yeah. it was a long ass drive, and I was uncomfortable the whole way. I tried to stop a couple of places, but there was like no way for me to get it. It was, it was just. Was it cold? It was, it was, I, yeah. And was I it like up, shaking a kangaroo hand? No, it was like, it was like shaking uh, somebody with. The, like a crazy deformity Like Ugh. It was weird And <laughs> it, it wasn't The skin wasn't broken But it was just like It was like Disfigured yeah, it was like this elephant yeah like this yeah. You know what I'm saying So it was like the Huge ass knuckles his, his bones were turned And crooked and shit right. So I was ignorant I didn't know what it was And I shook his hand Because he offered it And so you know He's a nice old white dude it, I didn't want to seem like You know the racist black guy So I shook his hand But it was the last time I, I promised myself then That I was not ever Going to put myself In a position Where I didn't feel, com- feel comfortable That's not my responsibility To make you feel okay About your fucking hand it's That's a, your fucking hand You know You know But like, isn't he already Going through enough I don't give a fuck That's, that, that's the thing I'm going that, with But it's what like, does it have to do with me This is when you gotta Take the L I feel Nah like. Why Why do I gotta take the L you're already oh, taking no. the L. Keep enjoying it. Why well, I got Why we got to share this L? <laughs> right? So they can feel. And those I, okay. For instance, he just, for instance, he just got me with that shit right there because there's no sense in us both having right. L's unnecessarily. Here's how it is. You it, already my, got exactly. it, Exactly. At my house, at my house, I get sick and tired. My kids or my wife, <laughs> they'll get sick, and them motherfuckers want to come around me. No, when I'm sick, I separate myself from the whole rest of the family. You, you quarantine yourself. You ain't got to come hug me. You ain't got to come talk to me. I'm sick. I'm over here. Just stay outside of the room. You go do what. You got to do with me and me and kid in bed. I'll lay all the way to one side and turn the other way, whatever, to make sure she doesn't get sick. I went if we're in a show, I'm not going to come here sick unless I absolutely cannot help it, right? But some motherfuckers will just assume, oh, it's okay because we got it. You know, we we live we're together. Friends. We got it. No, get your little sick ass away from me because my kids will come on and hugs. No hugs. They they, they kids. They they want daddy's no, love. No, fuck that. I'll hug you in three or to seven days. I, I feel empowered. Um, I, I feel you gotta like, do it, man. That's not your fucking responsibility. Yeah. Why would you want to be have all that anxiety from your walk from here to the bathroom? Now I guarantee your food wasn't good either, was it? it, it dude, I was about to say this shit my, tasted like shit I because you're just, like fuck. I was thinking about that shit. I it know it said eczema <laughs> when I looked it up, but well, it, what if it's something else? But it did also say, like I said, HIV rash. And I'm what like, if what the fuck? <laughs> what if it's something else? Like what the and fuck? And yes, she didn't really. I mean, I washed it, but she touched my money. I didn't wash my money. No, no, I used the card. She touched your car, man. That's plastic. You can't clean plastic. And another another fun fact: when you have plastic cups and you let people drink out of them and use them, there's no way to actually clean plastic. You can't do it. Glass has to be it has to be glass. If you really want to, if you really want to clean it for real, you have to use glass because um, plastic has pores. So there's no way, no matter how hot the water is, there's no way to fully clean plastic. So the motherfuckers who have those red cups, like I, I got some people fam- really do that shit. I got fa- red cups and use them. I to got family safe. members, not in my side of the family, on kid's side of the family. Mm-hmm. Matter of oh, yeah. fact, rose petal, rose petal will 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 keep red cups forever. <laughs> the, the whole point of be, red cup is it, to throw the red away. will start coming off on the outside of that bitch. <laughs> Am I lying, Jay Smooth? Nope. It should be white. But the point is you, to throw you, them away. Those are even worse because the plastic is cheap. So right. it's not even like the Kmart plastic cup. It's like the the real porous porous shit. You cannot. Clean those Yeah There's no way to clean it So you drinking after Everybody else Who's ever drank that shit yeah. And if they got eczema In their mouth You got eczema in your mouth I don't even know If it's contagious But it might be in your mouth Hey J-Mac I was, J-Mac I was curious about this shit You talking about the rash It said <laughs> A rash is a symptom Of HIV That usually occurs Within the first two months After becoming infected With wow. the virus Wow Like other initial symptoms Of HIV It is easy to mistake the rash For a symptom Of another viral infection Therefore, it's important to learn how to identify this rash and how to treat it. So, how do you identify it then? How are you gonna give us half the fucking man, information? Right? No, but it's, it's, it showed it showed a picture with see. some it showed a picture with some spots with a that's nigga with a, his back. That's not it a looked gist, like chicken yo. pox or some shit like that. But it's like you like look like you allergic to something on this picture. And Free like, what a rash looks like. You know how you talk it's about a, how. It's a, Hold on, hold on, hold on. It says skin yeah. change. Approximately 90% of people who have HIV experience skin symptoms and changes at some stage of this of the disease. You wow. haven't given us any more information, Jason. But see, uh, I mean, uh, that's, I, I'm just giving what the fucking the thing is. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if I have it or not. Do I have it? Uh, <laughs> we got, we How can I look te- this shit up? We got to go get it tested. Damn. Oh, no, well, you got to. Helpline.com. What's it look like? Goddamn. They don't it, say, they don't say what it, it No, it don't say what it looked like. That was just the first shit. 
You know what I'm saying? And oh, early never, symptoms. You can read too symptom. far. Never hit the, just the first link. You got to <laughs> go down. Too far. The, the first link is sponsored. You got to go down to some new, like the What to link. look for, Jason? Well, there it is right there. And it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Bolded. What to look for? He, he rolled. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> what to look for? Weather call. Whether, Whether caused by an HIV medication or by HIV itself, this rash typically appears as a red, flattened area on your skin that's usually covered with small red bumps. Ooh, red bumps. A main symptom of the rash is itchiness. j Mac, you was itching on the ride, my nigga. What? You said he, he said it, he felt like his hand was itching. On the, no, on the way to the bathroom. On the way, oh, way back to the bathroom. Oh, okay, well, to wash his hand. It can show up on any part of your body, but it most often occurs on the face and chest. J Mac, nothing's on your face. I can't see your chest. It's covered up. <laughs> uh, and sometimes on the feet and hands. So your hands look pretty clean to me, J Mac. Don't see your feet. No, you got your feet. You got open toe shoes on open toe sandals yep. tonight. No, so, no hey, rash. No it rash on the no slides. It can also toe. cause mouth uh, ulcers. Open no. up. <laughs> Those cavities in the gum, nigga. I can't see that, nigga. But Jimmy Mac, all I'm saying, I'll, I'll, French Reggie, you had something you want to say? Yeah, you know how you was talking about how when you're sick, you quarantine yourself in the family. Right. This is what I. This is another moment where you gotta take the L because I feel like at one time I was sick with chicken pox, right? Uh, fuck you. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I was like nine. Fuck you at nine. Yeah, my mom had uh, my sister had to take care of me because your mom didn't have them, had no, never had them. No, my mom never. Um, I don't know why my mom didn't, but my sister was doing that too. <laughs> my sister was doing that to care of me. Your mom don't love you. <laughs> oh no, she's like I ain't touching that boy. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. in a Haitian accent. I already yeah. did this twice. Yeah, so my sister had basically got caught with chicken pox. She didn't. She had never had them. Oh no, no, no. I get that. So see, some black parents do this. Yeah, they'll say chicken pox who, party. Yes, who hasn't had chicken pox? Yeah. Okay, all y'all catch it. From that's them. why. Yeah, because my sister never had it. She was the. That's one. the weirdest. That's shit why in the she world took to care be. of it. Yeah, but you know what's so crazy? I was born in. 94 I oh. took the vaccine Cause that's when Like yeah. around the time first yeah, came out. You, you know You thought You took something That they called yeah. that You took the chip Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah they I gave it to my sister And my ass. best friend and, and yeah My best friend had it too Cause the first day You get it You, you think it's just A little pebble What is that hey, Chicken pot Since yeah, you're from since, I, I just wanna ask you this Since you're from Haiti Originally Are you gonna vaccinate When you do have kids Are you gonna vaccinate them I, I think I don't have no choice Right I think they just make me Like you don't. It's your kid. You could do whatever the fuck you want. No, they, the hospital to to takes them. And nah, they, they, yeah, they don't have to. To go to school, you're gonna have to get them vaccinated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you could, you could do other things. You could you homeschool. homeschool them. Them. Yeah, but Jamie Mac, my thing though is I don't know yet because because I heard I hear some rumors that like some of it gives you Down syndrome, but I don't I don't think they have all kind of yeah, issues. Yeah, yeah. ADHD, but I think it's ADHD. needed though. I feel like. You, you kind of need syndrome? no what? vaccination. You so that they I don't think I've never heard of anybody coming out and then getting Down syndrome later. So you you don't want them to get polio. You can't like develop Down syndrome later, can you? Like at two, but not like like seven. I never heard nobody like this. Nah, like I think you're born with that. Shit, Fifteen, right? like you, oh shit, that nigga Down syndrome. Yeah, yeah, because the whole point is because you born with an extra chromosome. Yeah, is that so? You got twenty four, like Kobe. <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> Jamie Mac. Yeah. All I'm saying though is, man, the agony that you had that you dealt with from the from the, the hand touch to the bathroom and then your entire meal and I'm sure the rest of your day wasn't good either no that was my evening and it kind of fucked it up because See I had saying? to go home and take a shower I See did even after I washed my hand I went home and I showered because I was like just to be safe do you really Let's believe just, that that's your fault and you deserve that no you know what and and you're right you're like I, what's I, up man no you more know? yeah no more I, I think that I, I would be empowered now to be like like what's up? Just put your fist up. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Like that's what I'm thinking. You doing? Played off like you just putting your hand up in the air like me. Don't wear don't wear short sleeves and just hit him with your with your sleeve. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't even hit him at all though. I don't, I'm not, I'm not no. uncomfortable. I don't want I don't want any of that. I don't want any of that jumping off on me because shit jumps. You got to be careful. You get Cooker in the city. Yeah, you so, get so now you're gonna be. It's so crazy because now every time you walk in there, you're gonna really be looking for lizard lady. I would just stop walking in there. I would just go. No, no. I'm, they got good food. Mm, so I'm it ain't a, that good It is It's really that good I'm just gonna go to the next person though. It wasn't right? good enough to, to have you enjoy it Through eczema No but Contact <laughs> Nah it, I just pray that it was We gotta stop People gotta stop Feeling uncomfortable Just telling people no Or not going along I think with it's cause this. It's how we raise right They raise us to be Nice to strangers Raise us to be you I, know? Honestly it, For me I, I, I go through all of this Like in a split second I look at your life And I go Damn it's kind, kind of fucked up do I really want to pile on? Yes. By by you're not piling on. That's their reality. But <laughs> still piling. Do you on. think you're the first person? Do you think like you're the one that's gonna make him commit suicide? It was you. No, you, you could be that last be. string. You could no, be that last string. Everybody probably looks at them like, oh fuck, when they when they put that hand up. 
And you're gonna you're the good guy. Like you're the guy that makes it all right to have that shit over your hand. I, I, Get the I, fuck out of here, man. Makes you feel a little bit like more normal, dude. Put your hand away. Stop trying to give people that shit. I, listen, I'm good now. I could, I could, I, I got that in me now. I could be like, fuck that. It's not even a what fuck up? that. Like it, it is. I, for me, I'm gonna have to be that way. I gotta. It can't gotta be, be hard with yeah, it. Yeah, it's gotta be fuck that. Or else I, otherwise, I'm gonna end up putting my hand out there. Man. Just be it's pleasant. Like, oh, what's up? What's going on? And then they they eventually they'll put their hand. And they gonna keep their hand sitting up in the air. That's their dumb ass far as they do. Like, what's going on? But you keep your hands in your pocket. What if they give you that secondary boost? Like where they 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 thrust it out a little closer to you. Say like, no, thank you. Like they came thirty and then they go fifty. No it's, a, it's, a, it's like it's like uh, no Martin Lawrence you. on uh, Blue Streak when my man had just got done scratching his balls. <laughs> right, you saw him hugging. He said, ah, just hugger. <laughs> he hugged him. Like, I'm not giving him hugs. I'm not touching <laughs> nobody. What do you get when you cross a self-proclaimed philosopher, an ADHD sufferer, a millennial with third world experiences, and a guy that likes to keep everything on the surface? You get the No Nonsense Show. Make sure you go to the website, nonsenseshow.com, where you can link to our iOS and Android apps and our merchandise. There's also a place where you can leave us an email Email and let us know how you feel about the show or ask the show a question. Now, here's the big news, guys. We've been giving you guys free content for three long years, but it's time for us to step up and we need your support. So starting this week, you're going to notice some differences. Our Tuesday show and the live show will still remain free, but our Friday show is going to be behind a paywall. It's premium content for our most loyal listeners. You're only going to be able to access this content from two locations, either the iOS or Android app or the website. We're also going to offer bonus content from all the hosts of the show. And that's why we need you loyal listeners to step up and help us make this show the best that it possibly can be. So to start things off, the first month is on us. When you go to the premium site, make sure you enter promo code VIP30 to get the first month on us. That offer is for a limited time, so make sure you do it right now. Now back to the show. No nonsense. So, you know, me and my friends have a lot of ignorant talks all the time. Just, ignorant? Yeah, it's just dumb shit. Not we ignorant like y'all don't know. Ignorant like mm. the new definition of ignorant. Eh, mm. It's probably about... A little bit of both. Okay. Because we really don't know it, but we just, just say dumb shit about it. You know, kind of like that one time with the retarded bagel shit. <laughs> right. Um, so we was thinking about like the greatest human intervention. And obviously the first time we was thinking about things like the... Rocket ship Because it takes you to the moon or Okay wait a minute I'm sorry Okay can we go back Yeah I, I did the accent But I need to make sure We're talking about the right word Because so, I, I, he, he wrote he, he wrote it that intervention, way Intervention Right And then he just said intervention Right But then he said rocket ship So what are we intervening it, or, or is that an invention <laughs> oh, I meant to say invention. I'm sorry. I had a type okay, of okay. No. But we could talk about both, though. No, no, no. I don't even, I don't know, even what, know what the fuck yeah. that was. I was trying to figure out what we were going to talk about. I was like really, <laughs> really excited. Like, I, 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 I thought it was like, like we changed some one shit. One like, type of, yeah. No, nah, I meant invention. I'm okay, sorry. Okay. Um, that's a, that's okay. So, like, the first thing we was thinking about, like, rocket ship, because it's going to take you to the moon. We know your ESO. Yeah, yeah we was right. thinking, <laughs> you know, we was thinking, like, you know, like, medical things, like, that find a way to cure. You know what I'm saying? Vaccines and shit like that. Right. And I was like, nah, man, this shit's simple, bro. And I was thinking, I was like, you got to give credit to the, I was saying dumb shit like the bed. Or, like, just simple shit that, like, we take for granted that's really probably the best invention out there. So, I was thinking things like the bed or, like, um... Yeah, shit like that. Like, simple shit that we like. Oh, that's not the best invention, but if you really think about it, like, huh. some clever shit. Um, I don't know. If, Instead of, like, that super smart. Uh, for me, I want to probably say, in just my lifetime, the microwave oven. Microwave oven? I hate Fuck. microwave food. Like, I don't, I don't, I'd rather just warm it up. Yeah, it's not cooked the same way. I'm not saying you pizza, cook a meal. Pizza, honestly, I warm, I put the oven on warm, and I put the pizza in there and just let it sit for 30 minutes. I don't got time for all that shit. I need my shit. I don't mind hot, waiting. Like, because my that's good pizza. Pizza. That's shit. good pizza For pizza not, you gotta do that I'm not even talking about just my So like I just went to Fucking uh, Olive Garden Right They put your shit in the thing that, One for here One to go No but the year to go thing uh -huh. Is microwavable So you yes. can just put that shit In the, in the just microwave Just because it yeah. is microwavable Don't mean you, you have to though like, But it's, it's, it's good It's a quicker way Oh yeah, yeah. that's the one uh, Majano's the one That give you the one That put in the oven yeah, yeah, I, yeah I don't know. really Italian, unlike Olive Garden. Marciano's is fucking delicious. Yeah, I don't know if it's real Italian, but it's a, a, a delicious to the mouth. It's delicioso. <laughs> is that Italian? <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I, I Microwave guess I, oven? That's the to me the worst. That's the know, one of the man. that's one of the worst inventions, man. Nah. Don't cook my food. If, why? Because it makes everybody been, lazy. Nah, fuck that. It's just not good. Do you remember that? How long shit used to take? Yeah, to I still do it. I still cook I, that way. I ain't, got, I ain't got time to be heating shit up on the stove or in the oven, man. I do. I, I love it. And then it. when you heat stuff, 
heat stuff up on the stovetop, you got to add extra water to it to make it. You know, I mean, you can't just put oh, it. Oh God! In. Like, I feel like microwave oven. But is that, like that that makes it like less flavorful. Step. It's one of the first inventions that started shaping the fast paced lifestyle. That we live in now. Yeah, that was one of the first yeah, building blocks. Cars, cars didn't have anything to do with that, right? Yeah, but I'm talking about everything we need now is at an instant. I, I got one. They, the they, wheel. The wheel. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Bing, bing, from bing, bing. bicycles all the way to. I was thinking cars. something way further, like porno. Porno. Like, yeah. That's simple though. Well, why though? Oh, I wonder because why? Por- why though? Why porno? Because it's really a drug. Porno is a drug. Okay, check this out. It, porno, the the ability to have an orgasm. Without using your imagination. No, no. Nah, but <laughs> just, out though, just imagine, I mean, because we do this at my house sometimes, like we just come up with inventions and you try to imagine or come up with a story of how <laughs> how, it, how it got invented. Like, right. how do you imagine that porno became like... The business. A, a thing. Like, I mean, was it just like a home home video that g- got leaked? No, I think that... No, because you, people used to watch other people have sex live. And then so you say I'm a, Game of Thrones shit And then you say I'm gonna go ahead And then put this Now that I got a video camera I need yeah. to say this for later Yeah and Yeah I mean like, as long as They've had cameras They've had porno I There's mean. like nigga Send me a copy of your fucking But I'm saying today, content. T- Today's porno though I mean today, I mean today's porno Porno of, of the old Like that shit is not arousing at all Like it's a real old It was just a real story It was a movie No <laughs> like that black and white shit Like that oh. shit is not arousing at all I heard But I don't know They like have bloomers on and shit I don't know if you guys are up on Rick and Morty uh-uh. That shit is hilarious Every now and then I watch it But one it's of a the cartoon Yes yeah, no. and, and, and my son watches it And I don't know sure. why I, don't, it, I watch it with him Okay <laughs> Nickelodeon Nickelodeon Nah it's on nah, the cartoon. cartoon Network But he said He said that I wish I wish incest porn Was more mainstream <laughs> I fucking <laughs> fell out we, me, 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 me and my son Were fucking weak man. Why was your son weak Does he not, know what that is Yes he knows what I mean he, he knows what incest is And he fucking knows What porn is And he just you Put know, two and two together Yeah he, but the fact that This one Motherfucker said that he wished incest porn was more mainstream. <laughs> Who said that? Your son or the no, show? The Rick show. And Morty. Oh, okay. Yeah, Rick and Morty said that shit. What was that shit is really... too grown for you, little boy. <laughs> yeah, it's it was too late. He's an early teenager. That shit is that shit. They out. know, bro. Yeah, yeah, they know, but they don't want their dad giving it to them. We can't back that up. We right. can't. We yeah, can't, you can't pull that back out. It's, it's already that over. bitch getting pregnant. Yeah, once he once he South Park. That was the beginning of the <laughs> end. You know, I didn't know. I thought South Park. I remember being more. I don't it know. It seemed like it was pretty like a, just a regular cartoon until you just got into it. You like this shit is not. That's how I felt about SpongeBob. Really? Yeah. Yeah. SpongeBob. When, when I watch SpongeBob now, I see so much hidden shit that I didn't see as a kid. Like like perverted like, shit. Yeah. Like gay agenda stuff. Very. Like SpongeBob is gay. Like like he, he's he's a gay guy. How so? Because the creator is gay. Because he lived in a pineapple. He's, he's gay by no. osmosis. <laughs> no, no, it. just some of the shit he does. Like, if you really I, and, and you know, go what, watch Sandy, now. Sandy was kind of butchy. She, you know, she was the female squirrel. She was kind of dikey. She was tough and rugged, and you know, kind of. Patrick is his actual lover. Really? Yeah. For real? I like to see that. I didn't see that at all? So no, but okay. The reason why I say porn, though, even though I, I that's why I had to stop watching the shit because I I want to do that. Do what? Stop watching it? Yeah, it's yeah. just hard. Man, but look, every though, now and then I think about it, huh? Jane exactly, Fire. you're addicted to it. It's, it's I mean, I, I, am I addicted to porn or, or yes. just jacking off or nope. like some shit? Because nope. I could just not watch porn and still jack off. Really? Yeah, it'll take me longer. Do what? It'll take you longer to do what? <laughs> so what are you looking at when you what What are you looking at when you jack off if you don't watch porn? No, oh, if I'm not watching porn, how do I jack off? Yeah, like just think they, of past they, sexual experiences. You close your eyes. Yeah, or think of yeah, think of between past sexual experiences, past porno tapes that I watch. But you, close, but you close your eyes. Close your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's just, he, he's, it's different because Jay Smooth keeps his eyes open. He no, looks, what? No, he said he looks at the wall. And then when he said, <laughs> no, so you eyes. zoned out. You zoned out. You're no, looking at the wall, but no, you're not was, even... y'all thought, No, because no, because y'all was saying, no, I could say I closed my eyes, but y'all niggas was like, you jacking out. So what are you looking at? I said, nigga, I think of wall. some past. I said, no, I said, I think of some past experience. And y'all thought that was the shit, like, what the fuck? Because. Y'all was saying with porn, you jack off to porn. You're yeah. actually looking at something. And I was fucked up. I, that's why I asked him that question because I'm like, Cause nigga, what you looking yeah. at? Because y'all thought I was on some crazy shit when I. Uh, yeah. So you never jacked off without watching porn? No. Yeah, when I was, yeah. When I was younger. Tight. <laughs> when I was younger and I, and, I, and I could vividly remember the pussy I just had like a week ago. And I'm like, yeah. I don't, I don't remember. So ever. right now, with no porn, 
I don't. I, I would. I, I put you in the bathroom. I don't. You can't I don't, jack off. I'm gonna no, need I'm my phone. I'm not jacking off in the bathroom. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. Phone. I think that's the beauty. I of don't my... think J Mac would be able to jack off if you put him in the bathroom. <laughs> if somebody else put him in the bathroom, he probably the, would be able to. That's the beauty of my uh, Samsung S8 is that it's waterproof, and I think that is like a technology that's overlooked. Is the fact that you could take your your phone in the shower. Oh, and in watch, the shower. I, I and never want to test that. Yeah, I've never. I've never tried. Somebody who you guys don't have. You guys have iPhones. No, it's waterproof. It's waterproof. Yeah, your shit is splash proof. Let's keep it real. No, no, actually, mine is because I actually accidentally let it slip in water and still worked fine. I think mine's mm-hmm. waterproof too. I don't give a shit. And though. I have no like, case that time. Yeah, I, I got a little but, stand that I set mine. But up no, on. porno, man. That the reason. But yeah, like I said, is it the porno that makes? Yes. Because I, I just think I'm addicted to like, oh, I just want to bust a nut. Nah. So th- porno is an easy target to use. So I use porno, but the nut if I didn't is, have, the, is the is the support for the porno. Like if you didn't, if you didn't, if you weren't able to bust a nut, then it would be, oh, okay, porno's not that great. The the nut is what backs up the fact that how great porno is. So you're watching porno, there are all these visions, it's just popping you. It's like drugs for real, man. It's like, like a, you're like that little addictive lab yeah, rat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just there's it's unlimited now. So it's mm-hmm. just pop, 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 pop. And you're just you're it's feeling good, and then you do, and then you you support that, you back it up by getting a nut too at the end, and the dopamine comes in. I'm about to go dope. tantric. Yeah, but Okay. Yeah, and just just hold it. I see that, but I just feel like <laughs> I feel like I would just want to jack off if I had porn or not. Duh. I don't think I think because because I could just think of past sexual experiences. But okay, um, so how about this? Okay, before you watch porn, did you jack off every day? That's the thing. The first time I ever jacked off was because I've watched porn. Oh, okay. I was Damn. like eleven, and then I and then. Yeah, so yeah, yeah well, I, I before like porn, before porn was like. Prominent in so society. you were jacking off before you were fucking fucking. Yeah, I was too. I, I guess. Yeah, what? I Hold up. Too. So you was you fucked and then jacked off? Yeah, I, I didn't. I he, didn't. He I, fucked when he was like I, six. I, no, oh, I, that's he's, why. He's lying. He's lying. That's why. No, I didn't. I was. I was a late bloomer. Actually, I was like fucking like seventeen. <laughs> Eighteen. I was like seventeen. But the thing about oh, yeah, it, right? It's really. Uh, the I didn't have a. Reference point. What the fuck am I? What am I? No, what, like I used to just. What am I referencing? I mean, yeah, I I fucking twiddled with my dick and it's gotten hard, but it, that's not gonna do you it. Know and that was that same instant. I was like, let me just. Up you, let me tell you how crazy this is. What I was referencing, <laughs> I was referencing that nipple I would see between those little squiggly lines on Cinemax or whatever because I didn't have Cinemax, but the little squiggly lines you could see every now and then some shit would pop up. You're like, oh fuck. And I'd be in there for hours trying to get a shot of three nipples. <laughs> hours. Nah, that man. I remember um, Tomb Raider, Angelina Jolie. That's like the first. No jacked, that's what you jacked that up was to? Like There's the no nudity f- in that. No, but like just, just remember she, she seeing She wore the hell out of them shorts, huh? It's just remember seeing it. I think that's the, that's I started a, paying attention to girls' some bodies. That's shit, man. I just, well, maybe because I played Jolie, the game so too. Maybe because I played the game too at that time too. I don't know what it was with Tomb Raider, but I was fascinated by so Tomb Raider. So you had the Nintendo joystick in one hand and you jacking off in the other. He didn't say Yo Gabba Gabba, so I don't know if it's that game. And then it was like Beyonce from when Destiny Child Beyonce, I, it was what? like it was. So you used to jack off the, the no, music no. I used videos? to, I used to, I used to like start to pay attention how girls look, like, uh-huh. like oh, which ones are pretty. You can say you are? jacked off to MTV. No, 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 no. But the first time I ever jacked off was actually watching porn. Yo, TV eighty nine dot com. What is that? It was an old porn website. I don't oh, okay. know if it's still alive. So oh. I'm actually gonna say that porn is the worst invention, but only second. It's the second worst invention. What's the first? Sugar. But it's mm. a sugar cane process, already. God process, created it. Processed sugar. Oh, okay. High fructose corn syrup, all that mm. shit. That shit is far more addictive than anything else that we... So you mean that mm. shit that just got us addicted? It, but it's, so you it's should a, say cigarette. F- sugar is more addictive than anything else that we, that we consume. Yeah. Mm. Tastes good, though. I don't know. But yeah. is it bad to be addicted to, to things that makes us feel good? Yes. Yeah, uh-huh. nigga. Like, like at the end of the day, like, why should I stop watching porn if I love busting a nut? Man, that's like a what, that's like a meth head saying, "Why should I stop doing meth?" <laughs> that, but that's that's a but, fil- but but busting a nut's not gonna f- affect my health. I may not you're, you're never go wheelhouse. get sex. You in my wheelhouse right now, French Ray? That's a philosophical I'm, question. So the question then, the real question here is: What's the real question? Would you rather live a long life where you're restricting all the pleasures from yourself, but you're healthy, or would you rather live a life full of pleasure but you die early? Because due to complications from one of the diseases that the the, the pleasure gives you, live fast, die happen. young. So what do you pick? No, so, seriously, don't just say that shit for the fun of it. What do you? This is a real. No, I would choose the question. first option. So you obviously, because I would rather stay alive and be healthy and and suffer because you don't like the the the, the paper that you're eating. It's, it tastes like paper. 
But this, you have to. But, just, but I'm thinking certain things like watching. I can understand meth because meth can makes me go crazy. What the only thing watching a lot of porn can make me do? I may now never uh, go get real sex because I'm uh, just more sad satisfied. Some people, playing some people myself. lose their mind. You view the world different. You view the world different. <laughs> Sexually I view yeah. women differently For sure But I'm not talking about Just but I'm not sex. gonna go I'm, rape nobody I'm but, not talking about just porn I'm talking about indulging In all the things yeah, That make you happy Cause you can't okay, just stop with porn okay, I'm talking okay, about eat, eating Eating crazy yeah, shit Yeah, yeah obviously But, but yeah. the thing about it is I think it's just a mindset change Just like you're talking about eating It's Okay what am I doing this for Right What is the purpose of this Right Is it to Sustain life To live longer But what right. Why the fuck would you want to live longer Doing that you know, you know what? I, the funny thing I, I, we were just talking about, there's so much shit that they put in right in plain sight. Like, what is that section with all of that vegetables and stuff called? Oh, uh, health organic? Food. Health no, food. no, no. He's saying, like, no. saying like health food. And what, what else? But no, what's, what's it called? What's like, the rest of the sections called? No, like? no, it's not, not health food, but it's, health it, and wellness. it's a P. The produce section. Produce. Okay. So it's, so, so it's like, so that's where you go for production. It's to me. I mean, they're, right. they're, that's the produce section. Uh-huh. I, no one fucking thinks of it like that. Why wouldn't I not want to get shit from the produce section? Don't <laughs> what I mean. What the fuck? <laughs> shit, that you know makes what I mean? sense. It, it does, man. And it, well, it was another something that I was thinking about where they just put it right in your fucking face. Where it's like, why we we call it that? But no one trips off of the fact that we call it that, and it's still good. But anyways, I, I was thinking I, about the health food. You go to the health food section, but then what does that mean? The rest of the food is exactly unhealth food. Exactly. But yeah, the but it produce, costs more though. I'm trying to produce, man. I'm trying. I'm, to. I'm still asking the philosophical question: What would you rather do? And I'm serious. Would you rather live a long, healthy, but restricted life, or would you rather live a possibly shorter, but well, I take my chances with be pos- possibly shorter because you because you enjoy, fun. right? I'm having fun. I'm, I'm a, a, but I feel like you could still have fun with the first option. I'm, How? I'm in your you're in my wheelhouse right now. I'll be honest, no, because that's I'm a actually philosophical question. I'm just living, but I'm living this right now. Okay. Because a love hasn't had meat, you know, my family, nobody in my family, they're on like two months now, okay. except for me. Right. And my whole thing is I'm trying to find a balance. Right. I, between both of those options. That's that where I was going about. with it. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be all one way where I'm just totally, you know, uh, eliminating Partaking, any, yeah. you know, eliminating the things that I like. But at the same time, I'm not going to overindulge in those things that I like. Right. And I'm also going to make sure that I'm doing things that are healthy for me, too, or, or good for me as well. So I, I'm, I'm, that's my thing. That's, I, don't, I, I can't choose. Okay. I, you know, I know that I should just— Do you drink sodas? No, not really. I haven't who, who, drink, drink, I haven't, who drinks sodas? In I haven't drink? had juice in like two months. So okay. the whole meat thing, who, I haven't had juice. What is that? This is aloe vera. It's it's full of damn sugar, sugar, right? Full of damn sugar. That's juice, though, right? It's water, though. It's some water. It's flavored drink. It's so full of wa- sugar. The number one thing is water. And the number one thing in Coke is water, carbonated right. water. Okay, so it does have some sugar in here. Yeah, of course it does. My question though is, is that okay? So let's say you stop drinking all those types of things, right? Right. That, that's yep. got fructose. Okay, so what do you enjoy about that? Um, the because you said there's some enjoyable ways to do that. So let's say you stop drinking that kind of stuff and you start drinking just plain water. What's enjoyable about that? No, I, like, I honestly the water has has changed me. Where before I didn't drink a lot of water and huh? I didn't I, I didn't necessarily like. How do you it. feel? Only I, water, only water. Yeah, and I drink a lot of water now. I drink at least three of those bottles a day where I was not drinking. I go days. What's without enjoyable water. about it? Is what I'm asking you. It tastes good. I like water. I mean, it, water doesn't it, taste like anything. Stop it does it. taste no, it good. It doesn't. has like a metallically like. It's refreshing. Yes, it is refreshing. Okay, so you're telling me that that's not refreshing. Whatever that drink oh, is. Oh, that that drink is the bomb. That right. shit is god. That's that's sad. What? But what would you say is better, water or that? Tasting is that. Right. So I don't understand. But why would you say no, no, water is the shit? But really, that's the shit. You're just pretending when you say water is the shit. Water is so refreshing. But I ask you, oh no, this is the this is the bomb. You know it? what? When I drink a lot of other shit, uh-huh. I can tell by my pee. Oh, okay. So I could drink a lot of other fluids, and my shit be like fucking dark yellow, yellah, yellow and stinky. Yeah. And, and but when I drink water, yeah. But you know what? My dog, my, shit, my dog drinks only water. His pee is always dark yellow. Stop but that it. nigga, that nigga's bladder's not working right. Man, come yeah, for on, real. Yeah, if I drink a lot of coke. 
if I drink a lot of Coke, my bladder, my, my pee is still clear. If you mm. drink a lot of liquid, if, if you drink a lot of liquid, it doesn't matter what the liquid is. Nah, you lying now. Nah, you bugging. Yeah. You, nah, bugging. Yeah. Nah. you bugging. Nah. You This is what I want y'all to do. I want you guys to, to don't just say this because you don't know. Because I know. Don't just say, you. oh, you're bugging. Try it. If I the just, Next time you get a chance, drink a lot of something and not water. Something else. And trust me, maybe not the first pee, but your second pee, the third, those are all going to be clear. you be like, Damn. It's not about what you when drink. I, when I drink um, when coffee. I drink a lot of coffee, coffee yeah, when I drink just coffee, yellow only. That shit smell like coffee, nigga. No, I, I ain't going to say it was, it was yellow. But the thing about that coffee is a diuretic. It wasn't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't all the way. It was a little faint yellow, you, but it smelled like coffee. You, you might have a hole in your shit. No, no, no. <laughs> me too, me too. Because that, that's when you drink two or three cups. <laughs> back might, to back to back. I think it might need yeah. a filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking <laughs> about. I drink, a lot, I drink a lot of water, though. Yeah. I drink a ton of water. But when I, when you drink, when I drink energy drinks, my shit is fluorescent. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, for let, for I did rest, do the water test um, when I was playing a lot of basketball, like my my years in high school. And the one thing I can say about drinking a lot of water, you just feel like you feel good. Like you just feel healthy. What? No, you feel it's a different it's a different feel. Like when you just the only liquid intake, like you eat whatever you eat, but you right. only drink water. Right. It's something about when you wake up in so the morning. So it wasn't the exercise, the constant because you're on a team. You know, you exercise. Yeah, a did lot that more. too. But, okay, well, no, let's. Let, but I mean, you can't just throw that in there. Oh yeah, it was that too? Other niggas was drinking Gatorade. Was a little sore. <laughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> When you're on a basketball team, all you're doing is fucking training. You yeah, train 6 all the time. In after school. So your body feels better because you're constantly moving. You're in shape. You're in really good shape. The water wasn't bad. I'm not saying the water was bad for you, but you got to use all the variables. If you get that high quality H2O. Yeah, with a lot of pH balance. Essential. Yeah. Alkaline. If you drink Coke and you work out like that much, you're still gonna feel kind of good. I don't know. Kidneys gonna be shot to shit. I mean, you can drink some water too. You gotta drink water with it because you're gonna get kidney stones. You can't say that because you already said that one of the fucking worst inventions is that damn sugar. It is, man. But I'm telling you why I'm addicted to it. I can't stop (laughs) fucking drinking it, and why I'm gonna stick up for it, and why I'm gonna keep saying I want to drink it. And listen, there's something in the fucking Snickers that got me. Am I okay? Mine is 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 five food. Mine is five food. Five food, man. Like I don't think I'll ever be able to stop eating wings. Right. Yeah, ever? Just, no, it's just I know. A, yeah, I got some wings the other day. are so good. How many, how many days were you hungry in Haiti ever though? Like you weren't really you weren't one of the hungry Haitians. I always ended up eating something, but it may not be <laughs> because your family was rich. <laughs> yeah, your family had maids. Ooh, maids and shit, so. That's how you got maids. rich. <laughs> but it's like it's just like it's like well wings no matter what. You can be there just eating and see wings, that shit still look good. This is like with be honest, when y'all were eating them wings, I'm like, damn, I just yeah, ate. Yeah, I had eaten like, early, I had had a late lunch. I had eaten some a little snack and then y'all niggas had wings. I really wasn't hungry, but seeing wings make you just yeah, want to just like, get damn, one. I wish kid told me she was going to American Deli. I would have given her ten dollars. <laughs> now that smell too, like the original <laughs> hot wings. wings that, yeah. that, that hot wings. Like smell. when she came in with the American Deli, I was like, damn, why didn't I know that, man? Fuck, I'm getting hungry. Stop. <laughs> yeah, wings are the shit. I wish wings were open now. So, okay, so look though. So yeah, I show. eat I eat occasionally, right? I, I I don't eat a lot of red meat, uh-huh. and I haven't eaten any pork, so right. I eat chicken. But I and I don't even eat though it, in what the hell chicken was like the worst one. I try to do free range chicken. Oh my goodness! Yeah, non GMO. You know, you know what free range is? You know what that means? That means they that the motherfuckers around. get to run around. They got they got almost free will. Who's checking? <laughs> They're autonomous. <laughs> you got to go to Haiti if you want to eat some real chicken. Yeah, right? them motherfuckers jumping really? out of houses and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. got windows. No. <laughs> They're, no. Like re- They're like real pets. Free range for real. Yeah, They're yeah, for real. Dominican yeah, yeah, Republic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, no <laughs> lie. Like, like, and when I went to Haiti they last year. in the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Haiti last October in 2016. Um <laughs> And I ate like a real live chicken, a real li- like a living chicken. No, no, like like I saw the chicken die in front of me and everything. <laughs> and did it used to be a man? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Uh, if it was a chicken, it'd be a small a small child. It probably would be a man. That'd be dope. Um, it yeah, tasted I would, I would so eat different. That. I'd eat that little thing. Different how? Maybe it's just the sauces though. No, I mean I eat those same sauces at home here because you know my parents still cook the. Haitian what tastes style. different about it? The the meat just was different. I just thought about that. It was thinner. It was, but it, I just thought about this. If that nigga got lost in the herd, <laughs> you could technically <laughs> curry that eat nigga. A dude, up. Yeah. yeah, you could. You that could, dude got ate. The dude who turned into a goat, he got eaten eventually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You might have eaten him. That 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 is a I fucking mean, pittance for your ass. Right. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. To he, turn into curry goat. <laughs> <laughs> 
By the way, I still don't believe that story. I'm just joking. <laughs> I, listen, man. No, no. no. <laughs> you cannot make that shit up. Yes, you can. He <laughs> no, just did. Thank is, you. Is that the Mandela effect? Yes. Is that what's no. that? Is, is that the Mandela That's effect? That's the Dumbdella effect. <laughs> is he just imagining? <laughs> I, I, I completely respect French Reggie to the utmost. So that to honestly, the utmost. That, that he's is, full of shit. To you, that is an example of the Mandela effect. No, that's the dumb Della effect. No, he's full of shit. According to the definition, no. dumb Della Della. He's, he's, <laughs> he's imagining something that never happened. Nah, I don't know if that's the Mandela he said effect. He experienced this shit. Yeah, this, that's what I'm saying. He did it though. That's he had a dream and the dream <laughs> felt real. Get out. So, that was yeah, hypnotized. come on, man. That never happened. He never saw a guy turn into a goat. How old were you again? I was I was ten going on eleven. Yeah, when did you start doing drugs? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like, okay, uh, when did you start smoking weed? You never did no Haitian drugs like Look, uh, man, chewing you know, on a root no, or something? No, Let me tell you how this no, shit happened, I'm telling right? you, this shit is... Voodoo is a real thing, no, man. This dude, believe me. This, this, this dude was so used to getting chased by them little child soldiers and shit, he created an alternate reality. <laughs> like, the, he probably got kidnapped two or three times and he don't even remember. You know what I'm saying? He got kidnapped <laughs> and put into a cell. It was dark as fuck in there. He started seeing shit. You know what I'm saying? And he really, really, really saw... This shit happened in front of his face, but it was just a hallucination. Okay, there, just sleep this, deprived. Jimmy Mac, this shit did not. Do you really believe that he saw a dude turn into a goat? Yep. Come on, man. Jay Smooth. Uh, like, we, when you we hear need, we, need, we need to do a fact Jay check. Smooth. We need to do a fact check. Do you or do you not believe? Do you believe that he saw a man turn into a goat, Jay Smooth? I don't know about you that. Got your phone? Jay just give, can you give me an answer? Yes or no? Know. No, thank you. I don't need any proof. <laughs> I, I, listen, look at me. Did you see the nigga? <laughs> Yes Come Okay. On, Friends, yeah. talk to his family yeah. But time out Do you think those stories Like yes. werewolf stories Those things come out of nowhere Yes You don't think the, No I'm not I'm just using this, a blatant example okay. Cause damn man I didn't want to jump off the boat Right like, like No We, from, we I, halfway from I'm just saying You just think somebody Just thought about that Yes mm. So you think werewolves are real I, I believe part of that storyline is kind of true. <laughs> I don't think, know about the moon. The you, moon you, never, you never seen I never seen a werewolf. Okay, but myself. you did see the goat. Because I yeah, just want to yeah, make sure yeah, what I'm yeah, co-signing. Yeah, yeah. So do you think people have, have been abducted by aliens? Abducted? I do. Aliens? I believe that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a... Yeah. Oh, okay. God. You don't believe that either? I Proof. Just give me some proof. Fire in the sky. That's a movie. That, it's a, based on a real story. But it's a story. Somebody based on but no, 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 no. But nigga, my story is real, nigga. Yo, yo. If you want to be real, nothing is new under the sun. Just remember that. What? What does that mean? That's a problem. They try to ride, man. No, you can't ride with that. He did not see a fucking man turn into a goat. I Listen, refuse. Fire in the sky. I refuse. All four of the motherfuckers took lie detectors and passed. I'm shutting that shit down. I'm just saying. Lie detectors tests are not. They they're not even useful. Matter of fact, like eighty percent of the shit is wrong every time. Look, look up lie detector test faults. I guarantee you'll be you'll be surprised. I bet you they were a lot better back in the day. They weren't. They're, they were worse back in the day. Technology has only gotten better. Nah, not with there's lie no way to detect people a lie. know how to beat that now. You just become no, a good but liar. It's not even a good. It's not even a good indication for real. Look it up in the break. A lie detector test faults, and you'll see that the, many many times they're wrong. It's not even just sometimes, but many times. But that's because that's culturally biased. These people were white. It doesn't matter what color you are. So that the, yes, it, it's accurate for white people, not so much no. for black folks. Why didn't anyone videotape this man turn into a goat ever? Why hasn't anyone ever videotaped? Have, are you allowed? You can't bring video cameras. It's mean? like a concert. What does that mean? You can't bring. A, <laughs> so the, what, like if they want to document it, you can, but they have to bring. They, so they're the one that. Does why it. haven't they ever documented it and they've been released? I've seen Eve's pussy before in a sex tape. <laughs> I've seen Eve's pussy, but I ain't seen a man turn into a goat. I saw Jocelyn Hernandez pussy. I've never seen a goat. I cannot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't. I don't know that you can. I've seen crazy a- shit before, but I've never. I, they all anytime they show some shit like Bigfoot or aliens or what, it's always corrupted. The the, the file sketchy. is bad, or we can't really get a. Nobody's ever got a video ever. People record motherfuckers getting their ass beat all the time. Now you telling me nobody ever? I saw a woman get hit in a parade at the uh, Charlotte's not parade, but the protest at Charlottesville. I still haven't seen a fucking alien. I still no. haven't seen a fucking dude turn into a because goat. Because the real shit they don't want you to see. Who? The Area 51, nigga. Come on, Jamie Mac. Nobody slipped through the cracks. No, I bet not you. Not one person. Let's go. Let's go. We'll go road trip. I'll let no. you get all the way and see how close no. you can get. No. no That's not what they're hiding in Area 51. What, what, what do you think they're hiding? I don't fucking know. Weed? No, I don't know what it is. But it, it, it's, it's something. Sh- but, it, but what I'm saying is that's not the only place that... A- Aliens couldn't have just gone there and they haven't gone anywhere else. No, I'm just saying. We got... Why do you think we were the first... <sighs> look, we had advanced... Why do you think we were the first one to the moon? Because we had access to the technology first. Okay. Sure, we sold it to motherfuckers. You know what, <laughs> what I mean? We shared, about? you know what I mean, later on. What are you talking about? Other other countries? Yeah. Okay. What I'm saying is I just want to see one video of one dude turning. I haven't even seen a trick photography they video. They got that shit on Netflix. Where? 
Oh, Netflix. That's a movie, man. Nah, it's a documentary. Come on, Come on no, 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 no. Your no, homework, no. Jamie Mack, is to find one okay. video of somebody getting turned into a goat. I what don't is, listen. Jay, uh, French Reggie, what is that ceremony called? I don't know. It's a pittance, right? It was a punishment you, ceremony. You tell me you wouldn't fucking remember. Jamie Mack, you're not going to remember the name of the ceremony you it, saw it the first time. It was a punishment. Time. It was, it was a, a punishment ceremony. Goat, goat is. He just the, gave it to the you. The first time you seen a dude turn into a goat, you're telling me you're not going to ask Mom, more questions. Mom, what was that? That was the punishment ceremony, son. That's what he said. It's the punishment ceremony. It's That's the name. It doesn't have to have anything fancy, to be honest. It's the punishment ceremony. You don't think turning into a goat is punishment? Yes, it's the punishment ceremony. That's what it's called. And it. my thing was you left, right? And they came back. Huh? You, you know, you know, ain't no ins and outs. Ain't yeah, no it, was, it was an overnight thing. I know. So you. It was so, a sleep. It was a lock in. So, <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's like the thing, the thing was in the middle. <laughs> like O Dub. The thing was in the like middle. O Dub in the gay room. So check this out. The thing was in the middle, and then there's tents inside. Get like, the there's a bunch of fuck out of here, man. Okay. Like, 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 t- like teepees and shit. It was like, like, all y'all was like t- Universal Circus. Okay. And y'all, was, <laughs> y'all was Haitian <laughs> Indians. Uh, honestly, this is what I need to do. In order before me, I can really say what I need to say, I need to know some information. How? What did he look like when you last saw him before you came back? Because when you came back, he was he, a goat already, right? He was shape shifting. It was his, <laughs> his his body was literally being like he was like. Uh, uh, are you sure he? No, no. But you know, there's some people who can like bend their like they're like double, triple jointed, quadruple like jointed. It probably, he probably was like that dude that was um and beyond this motherfucker in a hole in the ground when they was putting the fiber optics line. Like that and shit. Maybe he might he have rheumatoid disease. arthritis, yeah. and he was quadruple jointed. I just want to know how far had he gone? Like, had did he did, have hoofs yet? Yeah, did he? <laughs> <laughs> had anything is, turned? Uh, right. Was, had anything? This is one of a man turning to a snake. Obviously, okay, he's not we'll watch it later. We'll watch, we can't watch. But you all. see how he's shape shifting like his body? Uh, it no, looks like see. he's yeah. just rolling let's around see. on the ground. Yeah, but no, <laughs> <laughs> he's not shape shifting. Just because you lay on this nigga laid on the ground and said, "Don't he look like a snake?" No, just. It's like those that nigga doing a those, centipede. It's like those kung fu movies, motherfucker, like tiger style, drunken monkey style. <laughs> the five deadly venoms. <laughs> hey, this, this that was. I don't think that's the best video right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> That nigga, there, there that nigga a, looked like he was on ecstasy. Because <laughs> there's a bunch of videos of them when he's they're so snake like taking the. <laughs> the Wait a minute, you still ride with this bullshit? I don't know about that one. That just that, <laughs> that might have been a rave. Hey, he looking on YouTube too. He like, I'm gonna find this video. A nigga being turned into a goat. No, hey, listen. All I needed to know: Did he have ears? I mean, like, was there any like a snout? Did he have any? Yeah, yeah. Was he doing that shit when you left? Because I just need to know what you last saw. Because I know when you came back, he was already done, right? Right, when he, yeah. you got back, he was a goat already, right? Pretty much, yeah. Did he, no, where, no, where, pretty where, much like what was left. Where was no, clothes? he was like, he looked like a sick goat. Was the goat wearing clothes? Uh, he looked like a sick goat. Did he have a man face still? Did, did, it was like his, 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 it, like a lot of his flesh wasn't dead. Was he, was he on a it cross? Was like a lot did of, they just take like, him to like the cross? cut him into pieces? See, you believe that. You believe his flesh regenerated into a goat flesh? Come well, on, you man. You can't have human flesh on a goat. But do you think it disappeared and then came back as a goat? Come on, no, now. use you logic. You that's not, it's that's like, not it's physics. Like, you know, like if you cut the skin of a goat, like the the. Why would, but how could it? Cut? No, I'm just saying. You, you know how when you like it, the skin, the flesh, like the huh? hair of the goat, right? Like it was patches. It wasn't all covered up. So it was oh, human almost skin like and cat. Almost like that cat that just got skin with no. Fur. It was like pet cemetery cat. <laughs> Where it was like holes in his jaw and shit, like ah, this side of his jaw was open. Listen, I'm not. That, I don't know about like the holes like, in the jaw, like, but like, like you yeah. can see through parts. Yeah, it. yeah. Oh, okay, so you telling me his flesh melted away and then came back as no, that's bullshit. It's not melting. You making it, it seem like it's Where, butter. Was the goat is wearing it, clothes? It, <laughs> was okay. the goat wearing clothes? That's Jimmy Mac. I mean, uh, Jay, uh, French clothes Reggie? was fall off. They was they was on the ground. Clothes was fall off. <laughs> I told you. I saw the part when he was like. And then like 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 I wish y'all could see what this uh, nigga's like, doing right now. <laughs> like like as part of his eye socket moved like his eye shit. socket moved. You see, you can't French. you can't fake that. I like like it's like taking this part of your jar and just and pushing it open up to your eyes. He, he, he's, he's about to turn into a snout. I, I'm trying to believe this. Come on, man. This is bullshit. I, I wish I he would have stayed at Mac. You so full of shit. Did you have to go to school? Did <laughs> you know, it's kind of scary, bro. The shit that you two motherfuckers smoke that they done made legal in Cali and wherever else, <laughs> we need some of that shit for the what show. If, what if, what if, in the room, right, they put out this mist of of LSD or some type of, you know, hallucinogen. Right. And That's were, why everybody that doesn't understand voodoo always say, Listen, you, you know why this, they say that? No, but this is my thing, though. I, 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 I'm having a hard time, Reggie, because see, I'm just, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, what do they call it? I, I, I'm, a not, I'm a skeptic by nature. Of course right? you are. So this is my thing, right? Because this is Reggie. bullshit. Reggie. Uh-huh. If, 
did you what you had to do the next day? Because how do you leave? How that? do you leave that? Right. Like, like what are you? I'm like, not. There's nothing I'm going to sleep for on that. There's like, nothing. Did you have to leave school. No, in the but morning? this is the thing you got to understand too. The only reason why I was there is to understand the reality of it. What? It was a punishment thing. So but the, you didn't get the, to see the whole no, deal. No, check this out. The lady that brought me to see that is to let me know that if I behave bad, this is the type of curse that could be put on me. And you went away. So, so oh, so she. It, mm, yeah. See, now it could be one of those things like the, like you know, in Hawaii they got this thing called a kakui, and this is <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, it's like these little mini people that live on the island and they'll fuck you up. And they, they, they kidnap little kids if you're bad and shit. I knew I knew the lady. Like the lady was like a oh, family friend. I knew her. Like my mom knew where I was right, going. So and she's shit. gonna try to scare you straight. It's like scare straight. It's you can call like, it be on scare straight, whatever you want, but it's that like shit when happens. they take a nigga to the pen and they're like, you but you're really not gonna they're like, I'll fuck you and all of this, but right. they're, they're really not they gonna really fuck you. They really can't touch you. Yeah, they, they can't. Little, one little white boy like, you know you can't touch me, right? <laughs> <laughs> he knew the rules and right. shit. Like, yeah. I guarantee had you had bucked the system, the dude would be like, Okay, man, y'all right, man. Get this kid out of here, man. So do you th- so do you, is that why you went to college and shit? Cause you were afraid to hear No, 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 no. I just knew not to fuck around with certain people in Haiti because of that. Yeah. Cause you, cause you, cause you kind of know who to spy, who not to spy, who's into that shit, who's not into that shit. I mean, I believe in voodoo, but I'm just, I don't, I still don't. Now I'm still, I'm starting because you, I feel like they did a switcheroo on you. They you did. Know what I mean? They I made did, a switch. That I nigga. think you as a little kid, they played you, man. Yeah. They, they, they brought you back. Like this nigga was like. Did they ask you to leave? Or did you leave on your own? But they, I, did, I, I got scared. No, remember, <laughs> no, remember though. Were you kind of convinced to leave, or did you say, you know what, I gotta you know, go? I, knew, I mean, I couldn't really go far. Like I said, there was the tents right there. I just went inside of the tent. And you, you heard him yelling and shit. Yeah, the whole I heard. Night. Yeah, yeah. They until yeah, like they started, six hours. Until it went to into like a goat sound, huh? Hey, y'all, y'all walking that nigga right on down there. Y'all, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> I feel like I feel like French Reggie is just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga ain't seen nobody it's turn to no goddamn goat. This nigga act like you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? This the this the new improved Jesus story, nigga. They put him on cro- on the cross, nigga, and crucified him. Whoa, and then he was whoa. rose again. This nigga right here whoa. act like he talking. About he seen a coat whoa, one day. Whoa, 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 whoa. He seen whoa, whoa. the man, and then he came back later. And this I'm nigga gone. My uncle, okay? whoa, whoa, I'm gonna see if my uncle can can help me out. Hey, look, call oh, wow. put your phone up against there so we can hear it. I hope he can pick up. He may not. We're gonna have to touch back on that. Be honest. This nigga just fell right. all the way off. Right. Yo, Toto, what's up? It's Reggie. Yeah. Yo, yo, I'm talking to some people, right? I'm talking to some people, and then I'm telling them that how crazy and powerful voodoo is and how people like voodoo. Like, you know how in Haiti, people can put curses and, and make people turn to animals and stuff. Can you back me up on this? Can you back me up on this? I'm talking to some people and I'm telling them how voodoo is scary and how voodoo is very powerful and how like, I'm like, yo, people can turn into animals. They could put those type of curses on them. I'm like, can you back me up on this? Because I know you got more knowledge than I do. Yeah. Can you, can you just back me up? Like they, they're listening. They just, just give me one example like or a reason why they got to believe that's very true. Uh, Big yeah. Yeah, you can you can talk. Yeah, I'm voodoo. Voodoo is as old as man. Say that again. He's as old as man. As old as man. Voodoo is as old as man. Yes. Uh huh. It's, it's, it's not dogmatic like uh, Catholicism. Uh. Keep talking. It's not created like religion. I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's not dogmatic like like the Catholicism and these are you know, these religions they're dogmatic. Uh, dogma. I seen uh-huh. them. But like, just like, I'm trying to explain them. I'm like, look, man, when I, I told them about stories about me in Haiti, like how people let me see how people can turn into animals so I don't do bad things so those type of curses don't get put on me. Like, you know how they teach you. Ask is it such a thing as a man turning into a goat? Yeah, like, and I was telling them stories. I'm like, yo, man can turn into a goat. Like, they can really put those type of curses on you. They don't want to believe me. They think it's some type of shape, shape shifting or no, hallucination. No, no, no. They, they, they don't think it's true, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I tell them, you just got to experience it for ask, yourself. Ask uncle. Has he ever seen somebody Have you ever it? seen Some crazy stuff like that But I know you know I just, cause you, I, I don't know if you've seen it With your own eyes But I know you know Because you've been around Yeah but You can have A scientific approach To this 
Yeah, you probably get uh, speaking English so they can understand. <laughs> no, you probably get some animal genes in in our in ourselves. Okay. Because we've been uh, our ancestors have been been beaten by all kind of animals, you know. Uh huh. So it, it, so when you say us, just black people, or everyone, or every uh, human being. Black people. Okay. So that's what you know. What is the the name of the series? What series? The series they give uh, uh when this will turn into wolves. Oh, Twilight. No, that's a movie. Twilight was just. A he movie. said it's a series. Movie, it's a series. Uh, like a National it? Geographic, like in a like History Channel type of stuff. No, 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 no. It's in series. Intelligent. Grim? Like V? Dead, it's called Grim? Is it Grim? I think so. Silver Bullet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, okay. Okay, we don't know the name of the show, but what about it? No, it's a, a, a kind of a cryptozoology. You see what I mean? Because yeah. they, when, they, 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 when they buy you, they probably you we, we probably got a in our gene there some kind of uh animal uh of this animal DNA See? you know what I mean hello off. yeah yeah I'm listening yeah yeah some so kind of so animal. you think because we may carry some genes that pertains to animals that's how they able to do it with voodoo but this is something that, uh, there's uh, no uh, uh, explanation. Uh, ex- uh, scientific explanation. But what about just I, like but, observation? Like, how can you just tell somebody like this is true? Yeah, but unless you experience it, they call that lichen. Let's it say the, the, the thing is, oh. is because lichen. yeah, lichen. Let's say that again? I seen it. Underworld. That's what he was talking about. Under. Okay, but like, let's say because they never the whole the whole reason why you're having the debate is because they haven't experienced it. How can you tell them in a way they could ex- they could respect your experience so they can respect it? Because right now they don't ex- respect my experience. Man, just give me a plane ticket. I want to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So how can you explain to somebody that they never had the experience to at least believe your reasoning? Because the problem is they don't believe my reasoning. Would you be willing to watch? You, you, you can say that from here. Uh huh. Until next year. Uh huh. You just said you do, that you experienced it yourself. Did you have an experience of yeah. themselves? Yeah. If they, they're hmm. just gonna hear it, you know. But don't expect them to believe that. You but know? but but what's a decent example? That's a good point. Yeah, I, I completely understand that. <laughs> but my thing is, what's at least a, a, what's a decent example you could give? Like. My thing is, I told him is I seen it. I told him like how it's described. I told him the reason why it happened. But you is, really did. It was see a it. punishment. It was a punishment. That guy that turned to to that animal because he had to get punished because he did something wrong. So my thing is, what's this? The explanation beyond all of that that actually make it work is it? I say it's the belief. I was like, if you believe in that and you performing that, it's gonna work. Like there's no way around it. You know, it's the belief in it and, and actually having that power and the knowledge on how to make it work. But, but you know, but I give you that uh, cryptozoology. So, crypt- so, so we'll, I'll do more research on that. Is, you, do you understand me? Say it one more time so I can understand. Cryptoz- cryptozoology. Uh huh. Cryptozoology. Cryptozoology. Crypt- cryptozoology. Uh, what yeah. is it? But it's, it's, it's like I just explained to. This kind of uh, uh, some kind of DNA from this animal my past. Uh huh. F- from from us to, to our DNA. So is it because of that? Is it because of that? It's possible. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that's a, that's an uh, an approach to make people believe. Oh, okay, I get it. Twenty three. Yeah, yeah, you understand? That's an approach. Okay. But okay. I get it now. I've been beaten by all kind of animal. You know what I mean? I completely understand. Yeah. So <laughs> we don't know. You don't have. We can't explain to people that never experienced it. But Man, one example point. is because of cryptozoology, they may be able to understand it if they understand that type of concept. 
of how it's possible. But I get it. I'm, I'm yeah. going to call you back later, though. Oh. All right, man. You be good. Thanks again. Right. Okay, man. All right. What are you talking about? Tookie Williams? <laughs> right, so look. What are you talking about? The Crips? You talking about the, the, <laughs> no, look. So look. Cryptozoology, right? I looked that up. It says, cryptozoology is a pseudoscience. Let's stop right there. <laughs> Let's stop right there. Pseudoscience. Uh, pseudoscience consists of statements, beliefs, or practices that are claimed to be scientific and factual in the absence of evidence gathered and constrained by appropriate scientific methods. Oh, that's like some of my scientific <laughs> facts. <laughs> right. So now that we know what pseudoscience means... Cryptozoology is a pseudoscience that aims to prove the existence of entities from the folklore records, such as Bigfoot, uh, uh, chupa, Chupacabra. Uh, oh, that's it. That's it. That's yeah. the Chupacabra. As well as animals otherwise considered extinct, such as dinosaurs. Cryptozoologists refer to these entities as cryptids. Because it does not follow the scientific method, cryptozoology is considered a pseudoscience by the academic world. It is neither a branch of zoology or folkloristics. Um, I feel even less... Yeah. Like I believe him now. No, uh, yeah, because he got a, he got an old head to to come in and basically back up nothing. No, but see, this is the thing. I, I I'm I'm somewhere in the middle because no, you're I not. I am because after this, that phone call. Okay, the phone call, right? That helped his case or hurt nope, his case. Didn't 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 help it at all. <laughs> didn't help that motherfucker at all, except for the fact that he said people that haven't seen it aren't going to be able to understand. Yeah, yeah. So that that put me, that right? Was so that put me. Genius. Okay, that put that, like, he, he put a check right there. I'm like, you ain't checkmating me. I would want to fucking go see this shit. Right. Let's go to Haiti. Nope. Come on. No. <laughs> Let's see. Now, see, because of that. No, I don't trust their methods. Mm-mm. What do you mean? That's like the, the problem. Airline? Like it's, the airline? No, I don't trust their method. Like, they're going to put something in the air, and it's going to make me, I'm going to breathe that shit in, and I'm going to be seeing shit. Like, that's so easy. That's how the fucking um, Native Americans, that, that peyote shit, they just fucking hallucinate and shit. Like, you go out to the Josh Ritchery, okay. and they give you something, and if, you start seeing if shit. If we could put on air respirators. Right. Like, like if we could put on, like, little masks <laughs> that they would, like, to to filter out the shit. Would right. They, will you go and watch no, them? I'm not going, I don't trust them. I don't trust them method if they can let me control the experiment do that shit in your backyard in my backyard in your backyard so if, if you could if friend reggie mm-hmm. your assignment if you could find a, a witch doctor or somebody what do they call them is that some, shaman it, voodoo you don't you, I, I, seen, I seen that there was that the frog and the princess and i can't remember what that <laughs> <laughs> princess and the frog nigga yeah. as a cartoon yeah that's it but that was they had a voodoo man in there it was, uh, it was the, it, the voodoo lady you know the voodoo it? man they had a voodoo lady oh too. yeah the voodoo guy yeah, yeah. that guy that was in the city yeah yeah <laughs> so but my thing is that i think he he's Jamie, right and on. i w- you're not leaning back towards my way now no because you you your fear Fear. Makes me, yes, it is. It sounds like you're a little afraid. That what it sounds like. It do like as soon because I'm down. Okay, I, get I, him I, in your I, backyard. I'm coming. Look, I put my t-shirt on my shirt on my face. Look, we, <laughs> there's ways to get around this, man. <laughs> they gonna put it in your food before you even go there. I won't eat anything while I'm Come there, on, I, man. French Reggie, you can you can make sure we get clean food. Oh yeah. See, French Reggie, they clean it twice. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> French Reggie's gonna be in charge of all the all that shit. Right. Bullshit. Hey, y'all, it's Baylor the Great, letting y'all know about my show, BTG for President, dropping every Thursday, a part of the Rare Signage Network. Go ahead and subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher. Better yet, just type in BaylorTheGreat.com and experience the pure Baylorism from my opinions being better than your facts to my strategic plans on becoming the next president of the United States. You know, I'm giving y'all the no-nonsense from the Southern California perspective. You know, the same place where Ricky and Kane got shot. That's BTG for President. A.K.A. the professional Californian. Man, I feel like right now is a weird time to be an American. Um, yeah. Well, no, it's a weird time to be a black American, I should say. We haven't. We, I, how's it? How's the train doing? You got oil in the train? It's. I mean, the train is always, you know, ready to to leave the station. I mean, if whenever it's like the fucking post office, rain, sleet, snow, right. no matter. Let's go. You know, um, my problem is. That I don't feel like we've been given much of a choice. Black people? Yeah, today's black people. Or, you know what? Actually, some of the, the, the new white people, too. I call them new white people because the new white people feel like they're supposed to be a, like permanent apologists for everything that everyone white has ever done ever in history, ever. But my problem, though, is that you know how we have the alt-right? 
Do y'all all know what the alt right is or what it's considered to be? Yeah, those are the people. That's that, the Black Lives Matter, right? No, 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 that's the White Lives Matter. To be honest. Oh, really? Those are the all lives matter? Charlottesville type of people, right? Basically. Basically, the yeah. The UKKK. Okay. Oh, the right wing. Okay, right so wing, I don't want okay. no okay. black thing. But no. they're the alternative conservatives right. because they're not just willing to be conservative and quiet. They're loud and. You they know, make conservatives look. They make regular like Trump, Republicans like Trump. look bad. Right. Like Trump the is NRA. A, Trump is the out left. Like that guy who got punched in the face in the video not too long. I can't remember his name. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That guy. Yeah. That guy's the, the leader Trump of it, right? Left. Right. That's his face. That's the face of the art, right? He's one of them, yeah. So here's my problem, though, is because I feel like as a black person in America right now, you're given two choices, and there's no in between. You're either you're either what I'm gonna call right now alt left, which is going against the grain. Extreme Black Lives Matter. Black people are kings. They're descendants descendants of kings, and and white people stole everything that that they have. Um, from black people Black people was the cradle of civilization and, and anything white is wrong Black is right And white people need to atone for their, their ills That's the alt right. left that's, that's what I'm going to call for right now For our conversation, the alt left Okay That white people need to atone for their ills And yeah, the yeah. things that they've done And you know uh, Like I saw a video today um, What's that guy's name? The XXX What is it? Triple X Tansion That's why I just call him Right So he has a little A video and I guess he's trying to make a point That's not all left But he hangs a little white boy He actually pulls the rope up And the little white boy is dang, His feet are dangling in the video It's a real white boy? Yeah It's really somebody's white boy Kid They let be in this video And he pulls him up And hangs It's not They didn't really hang him Right But for the video's sake There's a black kid there And a white kid there He pulls the kid up And like whose white parents but after that part, he talks about Emmett Till and shit like right. that, of why he did that imagery. Right, right. But he says, okay, we've been little boys like that looks like me, has been getting that type of image their whole life. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if reverse. I got that image my whole life of black people. Like, well, I we saw that it, sometimes. But it's just exaggeration. But- yeah, but here's my thing, right? The white people who decided to let their kid do that, like, what is wrong with their brain to say, you know what? White people are wrong. So they got because, paid. So because we're wrong, we're going to let our little white son they got paid. be pulled up by saying, okay, here's, here's my point, though. I don't want to get too far off. So either you're that or you're riding in the train with you. Take me back. With me. No, I don't even oh. think Jamie Max train is, is, is all right, though. No, 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 he's not. It's the Coon train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Coon train well, is not all right. The, the Coon train is actually re- a little I? bit realistic. Where, no, where? the Coon train is nothing, is, is, is not accepting every single thing that black lives, not black lives matter, but the all, all left. left. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So sure. if facts. you don't believe that, that black people are descendant of kings, right. then you're a fucking coon. Right. If you don't believe that, that black people deserve reparations, then you're a fucking coon. Right. If you don't believe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then you're a fucking coon. Yeah. And I feel like we're not able to be in the middle. No, I shit. I wear that shit like a badge of honor. What shit? I do a fucking coon badge, all of that shit. Because again, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. And I, and, and you don't I think, feel a little offended that you're you that you have to wear that. Like to me, you feel like sound like that little hurt kid. Like I didn't want no uh, McDonald's. No way. I I, don't, I, don't I, like, I hate I don't, McDonald's. I don't want no friends. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, but I, I, to me, I understand that there's there's you can't do that, right? I, it's it, I talked about it last time. The victim mentality. You got to stop that shit. We you can't be fucking. A victim to the point where you have no control over your fucking future. Uh, first, I want people to argue my point, though, before we get there, because that's that's next. But before we get there, I want people to argue my point. Is, is there a middle ground? Do do you guys see uh, a middle ground? There's no middle ground, but that's what we need. We're, to we're be trying in. to create some. We right need here. to be in the middle ground. Can we create some middle ground? Right yeah, now? I think when Jamie Mack, like a volcano, we can just create a new island right yeah, here. So when Jamie Mack do. Hop on the so 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 cool coon train. That is the middle ground he's taking. He's taking like hold up. No, no, no. Cause see, right now what happens is black people who are not on the the they're the woke black people, they're yeah, not, they won't even take the middle ground. You're a piece you're a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. But, but you think they don't they don't want to take the middle ground because they seem you seem like you confused and shit, like you don't you can't pick a side. So you no, just be like, just I'm so, kinda in the middle. I'm way no, depending on what what's what, I, I can go either goddamn way. You what, know what I'm saying? I could be far left, far right. The reason why those black people would not agree when somebody quote unquote hop on the coon train is because their anger is blinding them. Because they're so mad, they said fuck what's real about it, right? They just nah. To the point, to the point, they're blaming white people for everything. Hold on, but to the point where they're not even allowing science to be considered. Exactly. Like they'll say something that if you believe in science, oh that's that white man shit. That's a lie Mm -hmm. to to make you not believe that you're like come on. Like so, if we're not gonna use science, what are we basing things off of? And I. uh, I can I I just take it to a more emotion. It's just an That's experience that I had recently 
where it didn't um, have anything to do with a goat. No, okay. not, but I was I was talking to my manager, and I asked him. You know, I was in front of one of my, you know, s- reps, my sales reps, and I I told my manager, "Is there anything you know I can do for you? Right? Is there anything you need me to do?" I, you know, we had a conversation. And I was like, you know, on the way out, was it like kissing need, up? Almost you, like. I guess that's what, and that's what they said. You know, they were like, oh, so you suck they were dick. like, they were like, you know, you over there, you, you, you brown nosing, and then you know what that, you got something on your nose. And I'm your like, sales rep said that? Yeah. They work for you. Yeah. You Don't, should have said, for that it. reason, no, you're no, fired. No, no, but this is the thing. It's, it's the reason why this motherfucker is not long, you know, for the position because you don't understand what just fucking good business is as opposed to fucking, why wouldn't I want to, be an asset to my boss. Were you like, you want some tea, sir? Or was it like, hey, I just anything told you else? what I was like. Is there, is there, is there something you need that I could help out? Is there before I get out of here? Right. Is there anything you need from me? You know what I mean? Sound like common courtesy. Right. I mean, so Th- your boss happens to be a white guy. Nope. Your boss was leaving. A black guy. Yep. Your this boss is stupider then. So your boss was leaving. You was leaving. So, but some people think you can't if you acquiesce like that to any authority. Right. You're fucking you. You're some so, You're some sort of um, not alpha or something. Right. You, like, you're less than than you know. You're not. Yeah. You're not alpha. You're not real black. You're not whatever the case. However you want to call it. It's it's a something about you that allows you to not be in charge of every situation. It probably that you're could in. be. It could probably be a level of maturity that from that standpoint. This that motherfucker that over forty. Nah, it ain't I'm, a maturity thing. Oh, talking about the, the dude that did the shit. Yeah, this and, motherfucker over forty. And yeah. But the, my point was, uh, to me, I was like, you know what? If you were more like that, you make my job a lot easier. And guess what? I would, in turn, make your job a lot easier, motherfucker. You don't understand that. My mama used to always say, you get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. That shit is real to me. You go, So what? what is the purpose of being salty and being fucking contrarian all the time, right? I mean, especially in every situation. There's some situation you just got to fucking... There's no need. I'm just trying to figure out where where is the middle ground for the the people who don't necessarily, the people who still want to believe in scientific method in some way and don't just feel like because I it's it's what's crazy to me is that they say black people gave white people science and math and all that, but then you say the scientific method which they gave to white people or was stolen from them by white people is the what we're not gonna believe because white people came up with that shit. Yeah, they manipulated. Make it up now. your mind. It's just it's it's ridiculous. What are we basing all this shit off of? If it's just the fact that you know for a fact that your um ancestors are from Egypt and like you're you know descended I, from the I, line I, of kings. I, I, like what? I, it's funny though because I don't even know how many black people really believe that because you would think that if they a lot of people believe no, no, a, a lot of Facebook people, okay. a lot of Twitter people. I, I, I would say this. They don't act like it. I'm going to just go ahead and say that. Is this me starting to train up? I don't know. But I'm just telling you, there ain't a lot of motherfuckers out there acting like royalty. They're not acting as if they understand that their worth is fucking, you know, of fucking descendant of gods or kings or all of this other if shit. So, if so, they wouldn't be reacting the way they're reacting. In they just wouldn't. To- we wouldn't. We wouldn't be in motherfucking... Jails in, in, and, in a and, hurricane, fucking robbing, you know, and and I get it. When people are broke, they fucking do shit. Broke that, mentality, you know, shit. They, they they do dumb shit, right? You know, I for understand when you know you old to you know. You know, they, when they look at it at a different viewpoint, so you can't blame people that don't have for fucking trying to get when it's when the opportunity fucking presents itself. So I don't want to jump on the hurricane motherfuckers that was looting. But still, there's a lot of people out there, whether it's on fucking we social have, media. We didn't really have a, a... I mean, we lost power, but we didn't have a crazy hurricane. They knocked down the door. They drove into the door of the Walgreens. Like, come on, man. It wasn't that serious here. No, it wasn't that serious. It wasn't that serious here. <laughs> motherfuckers just... Some niggas could have been could, burning or something. They, they, they were mad because they was... They could have been broke. Drive across... But yeah, but they were broke before the hurricane. I know, but... They see, were opportunists. They, like I said, when the opportunity presents itself, you can't blame a motherfucker for trying to get when they don't got. You say so. I'm just saying. That's just fucking but long. That's, that's not who I'm criticizing. I'm not criticizing the idiot because the idiot is a fucking idiot. I'm criticizing these intelligent-ass black people who are really up here... I went to Morehouse. Who are really up here, like, criticizing people who don't agree with that all the way alt-left thing... You know what I'm saying? And, and well, saying that, oh, you're a coon if you don't. It kind of goes back to when we were talking about fucking unconditional love. I mean, that's that unconditional love for the black race, right? Like, I don't nah, give a fuck that's how... Delusion. Yeah, unconditional I don't, delusion. I don't give a fuck what, what we... We're always right. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been wronged. So anything that we expect is is just. And anything we do 
is also just because of the fucking shit that we've been through. So you can't really blame us for anything. And that is that unconditional love shit. And that's where I come back to where I don't have unconditional love. Sorry, black folks. If you wrong, motherfucker, I'm going to tell you, you wrong. That's my unconditional love for you. I love you enough to do that. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't it be a good example like uh, like what J-Mac was saying with the guy at the store, right? He looked at J-Mac probably as being like a, a coon, a kiss ass or some shit like that. So that motherfucker, he just just don't know or just confused about everything in a sense. And, and just like, like you say, J-Mac, if he understood the system and how shit worked, That's what I was about then to say. he would, he could, he could really either, he could really relate to him and say, hey, I get it. I support you. Or motherfucker can be just like, I, I, I don't know what's the opposite of that shit. Just total lazy asshole. Like You actually made a good point last week when you were talking about understanding. Yeah, I, I listened and I was like, oh, shit. I didn't really, if I would have been listening, I don't know how, why it was so hard. But when after the fact, I didn't need your translation. I understood what he was saying when I listened to it after the fact. And you made a good point that you... um you have to what the fuck? I just was <laughs> just that ADHD. Quick. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you were making a point of uh, you just said it right now. What were you just saying? The same point. The, the cone shit. Nope, you were just saying. I right. said to do the people that support you. Notice system. Notice oh, right. Notice system. system. Right. Right. You have to understand the rules of the game before yeah. you play. You you're playing a game, and if you don't understand the rules of the engagement or how the shit works, that's when you find yourself isolating, only fucking hanging out with your kind, knowing that not knowing that's not going to get you where you need to go. Mm-hmm. So I, the same thing. I don't think he understands the rules of engagement and how fucking you get ahead. You know what I mean? And I don't think that's fucking selling out. Fucking asking, being. Who? Okay, listen. You, we all have kids, right? Except for French Reggie. You got kids. The ones that go, "Hey, Dad, what can I do to help out around the house?" Or don't even ask at all, and they just do shit, right? Don't give me. The, you do like those motherfuckers better. I don't give a fuck. You do like the one. You like them better than the ones you have to tell all the time to fucking do shit, and you always got to be on their ass. The ones that you don't, and they're fucking just helpful, just for the sake of being helpful, because they know that you fucking appreciate that shit. And I like them a little bit more. I, I think it goes. I think it kind of goes <laughs> back to um, and that's kind of that that slavery mentality. You know what I'm saying? You're used to. Um, it's just like it, like probably when the slaves were being free, them motherfuckers say, "Hey, y'all free to go." And it was probably a lot of fucking slaves. Like, what the fuck are we gonna do? Like, boss, you. you that's true. I, I'm I'm used to you feeding me and you housing me. Not I mean, even though I'm I'm probably getting the scraps, but this shows some good eating. And they were like, "Nigga, you can go," but I don't want to go. Motherfuckers Turner, like motherfuckers that. like that. You know what I'm saying? Institutionalized. They, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, they're so used to when, like you say, you hear motherfuckers say, "Hey, kiss." Ass kissing that he all he doing is kissing that, and they don't understand that in order for you, you need somebody to kind of help you get you to the next level. What what it is that you got to do? You know what I'm well, saying? Well, it's like be honest with saying too. I think those people they look at white people with a sense of all white people like thieves or like you, you the white man, right? The, the white, white man, man did this to us. And, and, and the white I, man holding me back. Do I you can't really? Do, it. do you really expect white people are going to be like, oh, you're right? We should you should punish us. Like we we deserve it, so you should punish us. Do you really think that white people are going to go for that? I don't. I don't even. They're think not going to go for that. That's ridiculous. I wouldn't want to do that. Why would I do that to the fucking? That's like when the whole point is we're saying that the shit was wrong. So now we're going to do it to you because it was wrong to us. I didn't like it when they fucking punished those kids at Penn State. For Sandusky touching booties, right? They them, them kids, they fucking banned those kids. Like they fucked their whole program. Like the kids right. that were there, they got punished, right? Their right. Their, their shit got taken away from them. And Sandusky right. died. They didn't have nothing to do with that, right. right? And that's to me that was fucked up. But what else do you do? I don't know. But it, I, don't know. I don't know. I I just think that yeah. I just want some middle ground. I wanted I want there to be a place for people to sit in the middle that allows you know. You to to not either not be alt left. How do you and get not the be alt, cool. How do you get alt people right? Because I I feel like the alt people are rooted in their anger, right? There's right. nothing that they they they're so mad at the other alt. Yeah, that's that what I'm they, the anger blinds them. That they can't. They're be asking reasonable. for tolerance though. That's what the, the 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 people who are doing this are saying. Hey, Black Lives Matter and be the, tolerant. But I'm not tolerant. To, that's exactly. the thing. And this is the thing with being woke. That's why I hate that word because if you really woke. 
you won't think like that. But if you, you really woke, you know why that shit is like see, that. But you see, know what I'm saying? You're ooh. not just going to call and complain can I, can all the time. I, can I earn search from religion right here too? Because I mean, it's the same thing, right? I mean... Yeah, exactly. You, yeah, even you, for religion's sake. If you're really it, woke, you really, know, you really know why. Right. Well, if you if you understand the, the concept or, you know, free choice, how the fuck do you go... Beyond that, and and say you know you you have to be right. That doesn't make any sense, but that's the way most religions are. Like if you're not down with us, you are the fucking you're the devil. You're the you're the enemy. You're the worst thing that you wrong, fucking yeah. right. That you're the worst thing that it is. As opposed to yeah, you have your fucking choice to make up your own mind. And so if you that's what you choose, you good. It's like you say, beyond if you. Uh, uh, um, French red. If you truly woke, you understand, understand. what's what's wrong. In order to make this right, it's not being the op, you know doing it's the same thing it. back it's to not, the, not You got to find out. Hey, we're gonna do what's right for humankind. You know what I'm saying? They fucked us over. Let's do this right here. But it's like you got to damn take. It's, it's like you got to take a side. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers look at you. If you trying to be the middle, that's like you trying to be the the, the libertarian. I, I, I guess uh, is, is that like you know <laughs> Calif- <laughs> you know and. and and, and that's politics, a good synonym and, for that. That's and, a good and, synonym. In politics, right. they motherfuckers say, hey, we look, this, this is what we, we middle of the road. Right. You know what I'm saying? We like some of the shit y'all motherfuckers do on the level, like some of the shit y'all doing right. But hey, this is the right shit right here for, for the better so, of people. So what do we do, Jay Smooth? Do we, do we just fight against the all left because it's stupid or do we just... We waste time until they get they get there. No, you got it's got to be somebody that I think if if enough people be honest and and I'll, somebody got to do it, but people got to see see the the better cause of it and understand that hey, this is actually this is actually really no not what? better cause. <laughs> what I'm what I'm what I'm saying which is which people first of all which people are you saying have to do something the you alt want left to do people you so the much that, that you the, can the, the, the alt left the motherfuckers that the motherfuckers that the the all black lives matter got to understand. If, if I'm saying it right Or vice versa I doubt it Like <laughs> Who The Black Lives Matter Is that that alt left one? That's the motherfucker That's the pure I don't want to the... call Black Lives Matter alt left But I'm talking about people That are more extreme than them So you gotta understand The fucking Hotel right Jesus You gotta understand What's right And enough people Gotta see that Be like shit Right is right That What you're saying is right Is, is Not right <laughs> You know what I'm saying <laughs> Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could That's you, that sound you, bite. Want, you want him to do you so much you could do anything? Hey, with that being said, hey, y'all already know how we do it on the No Nine Says Show, man. Your boy Jay Smooth, we gonna do it just in the, I mean, just original style, uh, for real, y'all. And if you wanna listen to some more shows like this, man, where well, we just doing it, <laughs> go out there to the website, no show.com. If this is your first time tuning in to the show, <laughs> hey, it's a lot of this craziness, man, that we do. Um, you know why I think that's so appropriate? It's just the last sentence. The motherfucker actually says that that you want him to do you so bad that you feel like you could do anything. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> I need you guys to understand that... Uh... <laughs> Only a smoothie would say something like that. That was, that, that, that was original. That, that, he's, a, he's a smoothie for sure. You got to be a smoothie. Hey, look, listeners, by now you already know our premium site is up. You got to go to the premium. Come on, support your boys. It's not a laugh tax anymore. You can still pay your laugh tax. That's only six. That, listen, I've done the math. That's $60 a year. That's nothing, man. I mean, you, it, 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 that's nothing. You talking about a year's worth of entertainment? Right. You can't get fucking $60. Check your cable bill. <laughs> See how much they charging you a month A month, right You know what I mean and, Shit, and go so, to the movies I'll Get you some damn popcorn and shit like that on that one day That's, you know, that's you know a family trip to Honestly, the movies Honestly, we don't even have to com- compare ourselves to any of that The No Nonsense Show is dope Make sure you support us Go and hit the, the premium site um, You can do that through the apps that we've already put together Or you can go to the nonsenseshow.com And you can set up for premium there Again, if you haven't heard already The Tuesday show is going to remain free the, the live show is going to remain free You guys will get that free It'll never change However, that Friday show and any bonus Bonus content that we put in will all be part of the pay site. So make sure you support us. Make sure that you support the No Nonsense Show and get out there and su- subscribe for us. We upgrading you. Make sure you, make sure you check out the apps. Go go ahead and download the app because I'm telling you, it's, there's no easier. If you haven't already downloaded that, if you're going to any, I'm not saying don't go to no no nonsense show.com. I'm just telling you, the app is gangster. It's the easiest way 
to access the show and the archives and get your subscription. But there's a link for the apps on the website too. So yeah, it's but I'm saying, but once you download it, you're lit. Because I'm telling yeah. you, I don't even fuck with nothing. I just tap yeah. on my app, I, I play my story, and it's there immediately in the morning. There's no delay. Right. I mean, it's live. Man. You can do a snooze where you can have it cut off after a certain time. You can have exactly. it wake you up in the morning. You can wake up to no nonsense. You can, man. You can do. Imagine that, that. Jay Smooth trying to stumble through his intro when you wake up. That could be your alarm clock. You could get you could start laughing at the beginning of your day. Like yeah, sometimes you, you wake up and you're pissed off, but then you hear him stutter through an intro. You're like, "Oh man, life isn't that bad. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> it can so, be much worse." <laughs> oh yeah. Hey listeners, we love that you're supporting us. Hey, we we love that you interact with us. If you haven't joined the Slack room, definitely send us an email and we'll get you in the Slack family. Um, I want you. Um, yeah, I would. Blah, blah, you know, blah, 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 could you? Could you? When this, and you, you? And when you? you want to keep supporting you? us. Keep interacting with us, and we'll keep bringing the nonsense because we realize that sometimes, sometimes people just need to laugh. Until next time. That's all, folks. Ten percent less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed. <laughs>